All right, fellas. Here we go. I haven't done one of these in a long time. We're doing an RE4 randomizer on professional. Haven't done one in forever. I hope it works. I set it up for the stream. Let's see. Is it working? It works. Holy shit. My controls are sensitive. It works, it works, it works. We did it. Let's do this. No parry. Yeah, this game sucks without the parry. So if you're watching on YouTube, this is the first time I've played RE4 since Rising of Evil. Ah, uh, you know what? I can't spend too much time messing around. We gotta go. We gotta go. I don't have all day. Oh, he didn't drop anything. Oh. <laughs> I was like, where's the dog? Move your hands! Okay, sometimes it crashes here. Let's hope it doesn't. Oh my god, it didn't. I was so ready for it too. Alright, oh uh oh. Off comes my head. Oh, I have randomized health on, so everything might have a million health points. I can't use the cow. I'll bill you for the repairs later. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh my god. Tell me for the repairs later. That's my favorite new RE4 line, by the way. Tell me for the repairs later. Who's with me? The best line comes from the remake. Already. And he only said one thing.
Easy. La campana. Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. Mahimus Kaskimus. I have no clue what he said. Guys, will this be in the remake or not? Not that, not that. This, this, right here, coming up. Will this be in the remake? Where's everyone going? Bingo? Remake Hanigan though, am I right? Oh, all right, let's go collecting. Let's go collecting. Collecting, that's, I used to do that when I delivered papers. You go on collection, you go door to door to every house you deliver papers to and collect the money. Get the little stamp on your stamp card. Collecting. But in RE4, that means we're gonna go look for ammo. And some people wouldn't answer the door when I was collecting, even though I seen they were home, those bastards. The stains on the bed. I hope we get to see who made those stains in the remake. <laughs> what do you guys think the stains are from? A, someone shit the bed. B, you know what? And C, someone was killed. B, you know what? <laughs> ah. Little strong, are we, Leon? Man, I'm complaining about uh, RE4 Remake Leon being able to hold back a chainsaw with his knife. Even though RE4 Normal Leon can kick a door open that's being barricaded by a fucking massive cabinet. Oh, not to mention, here, if you want to complain about RE4 Remake and Realism, let me remind you of something. His legs would be broken, and his they would be broken so hard that his knee bones would go up and pierce his, his chin and kill him. Not even a grunt, yeah. Easy clap. Oh, it's all chickens! It's paradise! Guys! Look! It's par- oh, oh! Oh my god, watch out! It's not all chickens! This is the opposite of paradise, it's a nightmare! Get away from him! Call one. He ate a tier 3 soup trooper? You know what? One thing I really like, if you guys were watching the trailer for RE4, one thing I think is a great change. So, in RE4 original, these, so I don't know how you, how you pronounce it, spinal, spinal, whatever, spin L. Uh, these are everywhere in the game, and all they're for is just to sell to the merchant. You just sell them to the merchant, and you get like 2k gold per, or something like that. You can clearly see in the remake, they took that same icon too. You use those, to, you find those to trade them into the merchant for new items. I think that's a, a really, really good change. That's really cool to me. Because now, now when you pick one, before when you picked one up, uh, the first one, that'll get a little dopamine response. You, you know, it's like, oh shit. Second one, oh, okay, dopamine, little dopamine. But then when you realize they're almost worthless, it's just like, whatever, you just pick them up because they're there. But now, oh, think of the dopamine. Uh, rest in peace, that villager, by the way. Think of the dopamine. Think. Think. Look. In RE4 original? Eh, who cares? But in RE4 remake? Oh! Oh, I gotta go.
Look at, they're just doing their job. Look. Sir? Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, what is this shit? No! What the hell is going on? What the hell is this? Hello? That's it. All right, in the remake, in the remake, Leon gets in here with Lewis and they start making out. <laughs> boring. The original's so boring compared to remake. Oh, I just saved over my Rising of Evil. Bye, Rising of Evil. Fuck you, by the way. 104, 168 saves. Remake spoilers. That's how the game ends, right there. You notice how we didn't see any of the village? That's why, or any of the island? That's why. Feeble. Now. Oh, it, the merchant didn't even show up. I don't like when the music plays right away. Oh shit. Got a selection of good. Okay. What are you selling? What are you selling? What are you what are you what are you selling? <laughs> what are you buying? Ooh, it's so cheap. I have I have randomized uh cost on. Not enough cash. Oh my god, 72,000. <laughs> no. All right, well, at least we got a cheap red 9, but the rifle though. Whew. Uh I don't know, maybe we'll do a Punisher playthrough. Can I upgrade it? What are you buying? No, but I can upgrade this, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Should we up upgrade the red 9 or should we buy the red 9? It's pretty cheap. What are you selling? Yeah, we can't upgrade it till later. I could sell the mind darts. <laughs> Punisher you. only. Punisher only, they what say. Punisher only, they say. <sighs> Alright, please don't die right away. I don't like- I don't like this. Randomized health. But merchant, merchant. Sell it! I hear them, they're coming. Oh shit! Merchant! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is he gone for the rest of the game if that happens? I'm pretty sure he is unprofessional, isn't he? I'm pretty sure he is. Wow, it's, it's funny to see the... The discourse. Half the chat says he's gone forever, the other half says he's not. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's gone. Oh, but yeah, stranger. Come on, ladies. <laughs> no! 
No! So You're a sl shit, 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 shit. Oh no. Take out another dino, mate. Randomized health. They gone now? They're not gone. This sucks. Alright, we have to be very careful. I think the chainsaw ladies are all mostly gone. Girl has a chainsaw over there. Uh, she might see me. Uh oh, the other chick is coming. Okay. If there's someone at the bottom of this, I'm fucked. Wait, wait, what? Ooh. Yo, Tusky. Alright. We're doing it. We're doing it. Thank you, Ninja Bear and Loco and Dork and Sleepy Sobble and Wind. Thank you, Misfit. Thank you, Shad. Thank you all for the resubs. Eye frames. I was hoping that would give me door eye frames, but no. Oh shit! Yo, demo. Yeah. Okay. Fellas? Look at them all. No. Hey, don't make fun of the Punisher. That's not nice. In, they're in Krauser's section normally. Oh shit! <sighs> this is HD Project Randomized, yeah. Which are you is my guilty pleasure survivor. Thank you, Lady Jeff, for the two months, and thank you, Ping, for the five. The dude there. What are you doing here, dude? You gonna scream? He's got dynamite! He took care of himself. Why is there always one type of enemy in the room and not mixed up? He says as there's two enemies in the room. A 
Hello? I think you're my fish. Survivor is the best guilty pleasure. Oh, nice demo. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you, Riven, for the 69 funny number. Thank you, thank you. Do you think puzzles will be this hard in the remake? Funny number. Thank you. Nice is in the chat. Thank you so much. Hi, Yesta. Do, do, do. Who saves 184 times when they play Resident Evil 4, am I right? Actually, no, I take that back. Who saves 249 times when they play Resident Evil 4? And to, to someone that hasn't, doesn't know what the hell this is, it looks so weird, probably. 41 hours, 250 saves. Yeah, trust me, if you don't know what that is, the condition was extrema. <laughs> Better not be JJ. Oh, it's just... Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yo, Dayrock. Ah. Bam. Hey, Simply Seed. Remake release date? I think it's March 24th. I should have parried. I should have parried. Lady can't let me have any fun. Should have parried. Oh my god, I'm still getting the- by the way, by the way, for those who remember this, I'm still getting that glitch. It's not why I died to that chainsaw lady. I'm still getting that glitch when sometimes when I stop to avoid the chainsaw guy, it won't let me- It won't let me go forward for like two to three seconds. Like the forward button just doesn't work. Super annoying. I love the chainsaw design, the chainsaw guy design and remake. How the, you can clearly tell it's a mutated villager and you can see the two you. eyes like, like just, you can tell he's mutated and the eye holes, you can see sale, like the fleshy strength. eyes, you know that it's the parasite up there. What are you buying? So expensive. What are you selling? It's not usually that expensive, it's just the randomizer. <laughs> Thank what are you buying? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, you guys watch the merchant. I have to pee so bad. And now, I use the bathroom. Chat, you're in charge while I'm gone. Thank you, Pepperino. Ladies and gentlemen, did Merchant say anything while I was gone? Anything at all? He said, why you know by? Say it again! Say it again! Why you know bye? Idea is done. Uh. Caught it midair. What the hell is on my screen? Dude, something's glitchy in this room. It's the boys. It's the boys. They're laughing. Ah. <laughs> 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 Leon, shoot the barrels on that wagon. Why won't he do it? No loot? No loot. Oh shit! Hmm. Yeah, I heard. So, <gasps> yeah, what what Twitchy said? Um. Press got their hands on the remakes so of the flashback showed Krauser. I'm at the point, guys, where thank you, Pepperino, for the 68, by the way, and Mr. Lonnie for the 72. Thank you. You know what? You know what the remake footage showed me and what I think? Just first impressions. It looks less so much like RE2 remake and RE3 remake. 
and looks way more so like Resident Evil 1 Remake. Am I alone here? So I expect fucking everything. I expect everything to be in the game. Because if it is like RE1 Remake, then they won't- they won't cut a single thing. J-Rock! You have to agree with me, this is my stream. Just kidding, but uh, like I said, just from the trailers. Now, I I had people telling me after like my stream was like, oh man, they're definitely like, they're definitely not gonna forget anything. I don't think, like we watched a trailer. Okay, what the hell is going on down there? It could, it could cut everything that we they didn't show, you know? But at face value, it looks like they're being pretty, uh, oh! Oh. <laughs> I don't remember what I say two seconds after saying it. Clearly. I hope they cut the island. That would actually be awesome. Now, I don't hope they cut the island. I hope they change it. And I don't... You know what would be funny? And part of me feels like this could happen. Part of me. You know how the island is basically like a secret laboratory? Nest assets. Nest assets. What if the island is one big nest? And it has the same, same shit. The shiny walls. Yada, yada, yada. Nest. Yeah, exactly. I don't think there's something inherently wrong with the island. Like, I don't think the island is the problem. I think it is what they chose to put in most of the island. Like... Um... Get... Completely get rid of the guys with guns. The... And it... Resident Evil, especially the classics, like, this one is a classic at this point. Um... Resident Evil is at its worst when there's shit shooting at you. The worst parts of RE4 are in the island when you're getting shot at by multiple people. It's just not, it's not made for that kind of gameplay. The game... Just, it turns in... This game goes full on action in the last 20 minutes. For those who haven't played it. For those who haven't played it in the past few years. It turns into RE5 in the last segment of the game. Except it doesn't have the mechanics of RE5 so it feels sloppy as fuck. Browser regenerators and youth here are some of the best parts of the game. Yeah, they can stay. They can stay in the game. They're not the problem. Krauser, like, yeah, Krauser has a gun. But Krauser having a gun isn't an annoying thing. It's all the fucking guys after the Krauser room is when Island turns into a major problem, in my opinion. All right, here goes nothing. I may be much better at the game since Rising of Evil, but not, <laughs> not this part. <laughs> No! I already committed to going this way. All right, thank you, bastard. No! The speedrun has cursed me playing this part because I try and do the speed strats and they're all so particular and so... You have to do the exact right thing. And if you don't, this shit happens. This is horrid! Really? Come on, man.
Thank you. At least let me get three hits off. I'm still sponsored by HelloFresh, guys! And ExpressVPN! What do you guys think? What is this shit? Please, Delago, please. You're being a fucking goofball. What? What is he doing? Oh, this is horrid. Oh! What? Oh my god, dude! I'm actually gonna die here. I'm actually gonna die. He's. I'm in danger. He's too close. Woo! Oh, yeah, still goes an RNG fest. It's the it's like the one of the worst parts of the run easily. He should have been dead like five minutes ago. <laughs> That's realistic too. Man, I find it rich when a RE4 fan complains about realism in the fucking remake trailer. A probably eight ton fish is attached to his leg. And not only is he like, uh, 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 he's not dead. His leg would come right the fuck off. You put someone's leg over a boat like this and attach a car to it and drop that car off a cliff. See what happens. Yeah, man, man, some shaders are revealing themselves with that trailer. Not true RE4 fans. I'm just trying to come up with my next hit tweet. Yo, Sonny. After, after last stream, I'm just gonna treat my Twitter as just a shit post central. Oh shit. Yeah, whatever. I'll pretend to be the lowest common denominator of fan for whatever game I play. I can't believe there were quote tweets on that Silent Hill thing that were like, Hell yeah, brother! Agree fully. Yeah, Shane, that was garbage. I seen that post. I think I think that post would be true. Well, like Ethan in RE7 is really boring, and he's not really a good character at all because he has nothing. There's nothing to him. Um, but Ethan in RE Village, I think, is a great character. I'll take it. See you, Lightkeeper.
Uh, somewhat refreshing. I, I like, like, I think Silent Hill should always have new characters. Um. The Winter's Expansion? Oh, no, I didn't. Let's get our... Oh, is there no rocket launcher? Uh-oh. We're gonna have to fight this legit. That's not cool. Got some red. What are you buying? Oh, shit, I have so many... I have so much everything. Except heals. <laughs> Thank you. Can I afford this? No, nah, not yet. Maybe what if I sell some selling? stuff. Is <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? Is <laughs> what are you buying? Still can't. <laughs> I can. I could definitely buying? afford if I just sell something else, but I don't know. Cause I don't have. My Wait. What are you buying? I can't buy more more inventory space. Buying? That's fucking brutal, dude. <laughs> Whatever. We're gonna upgrade the Punisher. I don't care. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Sure. Hey, 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 Thank you. Hey, 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 Thank you. Hey, 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 Thank you. Hey, 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 The other thing I don't like is the knife gets damaged by using. It looks like you can upgrade the knife, though. Um. But I see what they're going with there. Like. In, in this game, the only counterplay, well, like, as a casual player on your first playthrough, the only counterplay to, like, chainsaw guys or just all all the cheap stuff is knowing how they work already. Like, you're not going to get a new player going up to a chainsaw guy. This is how you deal with chainsaw guy. As long as you run up, if you run towards them and just back up a sec, they'll always do the same thing, by the way, if you don't know that. Every enemy in this game can be manipulated in some way, shape, or form, but in a casual playthrough, you don't know this kind of thing. So... For chainsaw guys, for example, you go like this, they swing. When they're swinging, you back up like that. You just need to back, like, you can even do it last second. Back up, and if you back up, you're good. And then when they're in the animation, like, for, like, recovering, you knife them in the head, and you kick them, and then you can knife them while they're down. And then that's how you can deal with a chainsaw guy pretty easy. As you see when I was doing the village segment, I kept just running up to them, backing up, and they'd all line up together, and then I'd blow them all up with the dynamite because they're all lined up, all doing the same animation, together as like you could you could deal with 20 chainsaw guys as long as they're like close together um so i guess the knife durability thing is a way to deal with that but not make it overpowered i seen you can repair it and you can upgrade it too so um yeah that'll be interesting who's it gonna be He's my worst nemesis. Oh, that'll do it. That'll do it. You know what, guys? I may eat these words later, but playing Rising of Evil... <laughs> I I always said this to my chat, and people just don't believe me sometimes. And a lot of people expect, like, weird stuff of me, like, because I play Resident Evil. That means I'm good at all- I'm good at RE6! Like, I'm master at RE6. I know nothing about that game. I played it, like, three times. Uh, but since playing Rising of Evil... Oh my god, the game is so much easier. Like, I just know everything about every enemy now. As opposed to, like, every time I got one of those in the past, I was like, I don't know what to do. But now, if he runs without, if he runs without swinging, you shoot him in the leg. If he runs with swinging, you shoot him in the head. 
and you can just stun lock him in the head. And if he if he falls when he runs at you, you just shoot him in the head when he's down. Yeah, the game is definitely, for the most part, a lot easier now. Doesn't mean I won't die and stuff, because the game is cheap as shit. I don't think it'll repair over time. I think... I think they'll treat it almost similar to, like... Uh... The Knife in Resident Evil 1 Remake. Except, it doesn't disappear when you use it. So you use it, that's it. Like, I, I would say if you use it on a chainsaw guy, you'd have to repair it at the next merchant. And then... But, and then you can upgrade it to not break on the on the chainsaw. Maybe by the end of the game, it, it won't be uh, durability. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of WoW lately. It's actually so much... The, the last patch of Shadowlands has been a lot of fun. Like the, it's so funny, man. It's same same story with most WoW expansions, where the expansion fucking blows dick holes when it first came out because the they're just trying to get you to play as long as possible and do all these fucking dailies and time gating and all this bullshit. And at the end of the expansion, it's like everything that is annoying is gone, and we've also had a bunch of cool new shit to do. So, um, yeah, it's been really fun. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the end of Shadowlands has been sick. And I'm super, super, super excited for Dragonflight. Dragonflight looks amazing. Like, it's the first expansion where I truly feel like they actually listen to the community. They're like, oh, okay, you guys actually want a good game to play. All right, fine. Fine. I guess you waited long enough. I don't think, so. I think Silent Hill 2 Remake looks awesome. It's just the fact that Bloober team is working on it. Um, they just need to show gameplay. I think Silent Hill 2 will be super hype if they show gameplay. If they show the gameplay actually being good. My prediction is it will play like Last of Us or something. But not with the throwing objects and stuff. With the Ashley, don't come! Hey, take it easy. No! Get away! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. Hey, you know what? what? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. This scene, we've seen the scene in the trailer. It's already better. Leon grabs the candlestick like a fucking Chad and tosses it to the side. And she's not cowering in fear either. It's already better. Look, the remake's already better than this game. God, this game sucks. Maybe we should play something else. Yeah. Remake Ashley can climb ladders. Or, sorry. Remake Ashley can... Climb down ladders. Why can't original Ashley climb down ladders? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I don't know. I'm just I'll oh. take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine. I know you guys were probably expecting a story playthrough or something, <laughs> but I have a sponsor to at the end of the stream and I have to go to bed at a reasonable hour and these randos sometimes take like four to six hours, so I'm scared. That's with skipping everything. Uh oh, chainsaw guys. Tell me Ashley, what should I do? Leon, shoot those barrels on that wagon. <laughs> Man, Rising of Evil. Snakes. Thank you, Alucard Official, for the nine months. And thank you, Bren Doom, for the nine months as well. Thank you, McFarlane, for the tier two and the seven. And thank you, Schmibbles, for the 68. Schmibbles, are you still here? For the love of God. Oh, I hate seeing the resubs so late. Schmibbles! Schmibbles!
No, guys. Listen. I only do this for super, super long resets. But I have to message Smibbles, guys. I have to I message Smibbles. And every one of these people from my chat that I miss their resub when they're here and I have to go back and thank them. Our chat history is always the same. Thank you. <laughs> it's me. Yep. Oh. All right. I did it. <sighs> Are they sad? Am I sad they covered Ashley's ears in the remake? Ashley's ears, dude. That's my elephant impression. That's where she got those ears from. I'm sure I'm with most people where I don't care. Uh oh. Ashley. Wait. Don't step in the trap, Ashley. Follow. Ashley getting changed. I don't care about. Good. Good. Ashley got changed. Good. Like, I, I, I like Ashley, but... It's not like her design is like, oh, dude, they changed Ashley. They changed Ashley? Oh, game is ruined. The only, 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 the only thing I'm sad about Legit, the only thing I'm sad about is Ada's voice is not good. Straight up not good in my opinion. And the fact that- is this correct? Is this- correct me if I'm wrong, because people in chat said this. People in chat said this. Is Ada voiced by the girl who does Ada in Welcome to Raccoon City? Is that true or are people memeing? That is... It, so it is true. It's not confirmed. If that ends up being true... Thank you, Cerebees, for the 63! And thank you, Nerd Prince, Poison, and Fogwa. That is so worrying that they're giving any respect to that movie when it's like most people th thought it sucked and that's just worrying why would they why would they take anything from the movie why that's like just so confusing like they Are you trying to kill me? Use yeah. this. Use this if you're trying to kill me. Are you trying to kill me? Use this if you're trying to kill me. I like being killed by this.
Yeah, they're not coming through that window. <laughs> You said it, Louie. Wow, that was easy. Um, thank you, Extra Mancer, for the five. Get the subs. Thank you, thank you. Looks like they're backing off. So, what do we do now? The bridge I crossed to get here is out. So I guess we have no choice but to keep moving. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. Louis. You can tell by that interaction right there. They made out off camera. And that whole cabin thing is going to start in the remake because Leon and Lewis are making out in the bed up there and then they hear Matalo and then they look out and you have to do this whole segment buck naked. Thoughts? Yo, Axter, well, thank you. I really appreciate the generosity. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Do, 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 do. Hey, hey, thank you, thank you. Do, 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 do. Thoughts? <laughs> no one says anything. Alright. I'll keep my ideas to myself then. This Punisher is going to get out of hand. I am doing Boktober still, yes, but with RE4 remake being shown, looking awesome, I figured, I figured, why not? Why not? Leon! Ashley, watch out! Good, good, Leon. Watch out, Ashley. Good, Leon, good. Good, Leon. Good, Leon. Good. Wait. Good, Leon. Follow me. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Wait. Guys, you know me. I'm a hype beast. I'm a hype beast. Oh. Uh... Whatever. No, actually, not whatever. Fuck these hanging rounds. Follow me. Having such a small inventory right now is brutal. I'm a hype beast, guys. What can I say? RE4 remake gets shown. I play RE4. I'm a man of the people. Yeah, and Rando is really easy to set up. Yeah, they actually come like it's. Oh, wait, the rando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rando is really easy setup. It's like drag and drop. That's it. Double click after that. Download the randomizer. Export it into the Resident Evil 4 folder within Steam. Just right click it, browse local files. You got the folder. Export it. Then if you want to run the rando, as it says, there's a readme that comes with the rando that says this exact thing. But then you just double click the ETC folder within the Bio 4 folder, run it as administrator, generate randomizer, done. So drag and drop, then find the randomizer exe. Then you're done. <laughs> hey, merchant! Welcome. Got a selection of what are you buying? Got a selection of what are you buying? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> what are you selling? Well, buddy, I'm selling a lot of things. First, the TMP ammo. Then, Thank I'm going to sell the... May as well sell these, and... Thank you. And I'm going to sell the... Rifle ammo, because why not? Thank you. No problem, buddy. What does it randomize? All enemies' health, the, all weapons' damage, how much stuff costs from the merchant, what is the merchant even sells you, um, enemies... And enemy locations and boss fights. And you're starting loadout, which I started with the Punisher. And some mine rounds. What's the best pistol in my opinion? The Red Nine. 
Guys, I don't- okay, if you missed the stream where I watched the RE4 thing, and you also just didn't watch it on YouTube, because I have both my reaction to the trailer and the whole Resident Evil Showcase and Silent Hill Showcase on my YouTube VOD channel, if you weren't there, you know what they're giving RE4 for pre-orders? The- Do you remember the two things I wanted for RE3 Remake? The two most important things? The Eagle and the Western Custom? They're adding the Western Custom to RE4 Remake. We're getting the fucking shotgun. It may not be in the correct goddamn game, because it's from Resident Evil 3, but at least it's getting added to a remake, which isn't the one it's from, for some fucking unknown reason, which is known. Wait. It's actually so funny. All the extra content in RE4 <laughs> and the lack thereof in <laughs> 3 Remake. It's like... Oh my god. Feels great to be an RE4 fan. It feels fucking terrible to be an RE3 fan. They're throwing something. Yeah, I don't know, Ashley. Okay, Rising of Evil has tainted my brain. I keep constantly looking in areas where in Rising of Evil there's like a threatening enemy, and in this game there's just nothing. Come on, all I want is a bigger inventory. This game with base inventory feels terrible. <laughs> please, please! Give me a bigger inventory, for the love of God! What are you? Is it? Oh, oh! What are you? Not enough cash. No! What are you selling? I got nothing to sell. Come back any time. Oh, fuck. Whatever. I haven't played RE4 since Rising of Evil. But yeah, this fight can still be very hard because two bosses spawn at once. What's Rising of Evil? x ray Spark RE4. I'm so glad this guy and the boss fights in RE4 Remake. The big cheese! The bigger cheese! The biggest cheese! The cheddar! Cheddar cheese! The big cheese! The cheddar! No, he's so fast! He's so fast! Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> stop! Down here, you fuck. 
Thank you. Oh! You bastard. Two hours later? Nah, nah. More like 60 seconds later. Look at Leon's eyebrow. Bruh. Regenerate. Yeah, it goes without saying. Like, regenerators and regenerators? Easily. Top three things I'm looking most forward to seeing. Oh man, I can't wait for that. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Thank you, Gamble, for the 16. Thank you. Ah. Oh my god. The Verdugos are huge. They're huge in Remake. What's randomized? Um, I wonder if I have a command for that question. Thank you, Mepsi, again for the 20, and thank you, Poke. Welcome. Got a selection of what are you buying? Got a what selection of what are you buying? What are you, what are you selling? Is it <laughs> thank you. Well, is it worth it? Probably. Ah. <laughs> what are you boys? <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. Yeah, Falcon. In my opinion, um, yeah, RE4 remake looks nothing less than perfect. Honestly, it's beyond my expectations. I did not expect to see a trailer where we see the quality of RE1 remake, not RE2 remake, not RE3 remake. We see the quality of RE1 remake within that trailer. It's just a trailer at the end of the day, but definitely getting RE1 remake vibes. And by RE1 remake vibes, for those who don't know, um, if you've never played RE1 remake or RE1 or both games, RE1 Remake is the best remake. Remake. When I say it's the best game of all time, it's the best remake of all time easily. Because what they did was they kept every single little thing, every single room in the entire fucking game. Except, I think it's it's missing one singular room. I think. I forget. And then they added like two hours extra content on top of that. And extra, extra enemies and a whole extra story to expand the lore of the mansion. Like, they kept everything fans loved, improved it, and then added more, and the new stuff, unlike Final Fantasy VII Remake, where the new stuff is just, like, shitty, or not as good as the classic stuff, the new stuff is arguably better than what the original had. And if RE4 can do that, add new shit, keep literally everything, change the terrible stuff, like the island, but keep it, and then add new stuff that's even better than the classic stuff, that would be fucking crazy. Now, I know some people are thinking, like, RE2 Remake is like that. It isn't. RE2 Remake is like a 9 out of 10 game. It's a fantastic fucking game. It may not be the best remake of all time, but it's one of the best games of all time, I think. But it could have done so much more, and RE4 Remake might do that much more that we were expecting with 2. The hell's happened with these guys? Wait. There's no one driving. Oh, 
Oh! <laughs> I thought he was about to be spared. Ooh, that's a good question. I'm not sure, Shane. Uh, thank you, JD, for the nineteen months. Thank you. Yeah. It's funny, um, I watched a couple Spanish streamers watch the trailer and everyone that speaks Spanish seems to be very excited that it's actually real Spanish as opposed to whatever the hell we got in RE4. <laughs> What are you buying? <gasps> uh, we're already dedicated. Broke a butterfly though. What are you buying? Not enough cash. Oh shit. Stranger. Oh no, this part sucks without a rifle. What are you selling? Uh well, we got nothing to sell. <laughs> oh. Come back at any time. Oh, we're just gonna have to cope. Stallion. Yeah. Wait, follow me. Did it work? Oh, he's coming. Oh, this sucks. Oh, wait, we can see him. This is the important guy to kill. Bye bye accuracy. What the? Nice job, dude. Oh shit, please Ashley don't die. What's wrong with them? Wait. Oh, they're... He didn't take the damage. Whatever. Uh... door here. Rising of evil. Strats. No door. Thank you, JVL. Yeah, if you guys are curious about Rising of Evil, x Mark RE4, the whole playlist is right there if you ever want to watch it. It's an insanely hard version of this game. Welcome. Welcome. Got a selection. What are you buying? 
come back at any time. I will. Wait. Idea is done. Follow me. Wait. Idea is done. Matalo. Yeah, I like the new merchant voice. Like, I am. I understand. Okay. I think hating merchant's voice is a little different than Ada. Merchant is very hard boots to fill, in my opinion. Like, merchant's voice is iconic. And I think they did a decent job replicating. Or. As God only knows, God only knows what the first guy is up to. I, I have no clue who played his voice the first time. Is he still alive? Merchant also voiced Leon. I had, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Was Paul Mercier? The voice actor for Leon in this game? I thought he was Zari too. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, they both have Paul. It's, they're both named Paul. I forgot. Who's throwing that? Ugh. Going well. It feels like coming back to randos after playing Rise of Evil feels like I practiced this game for like a hundred hours off stream. <laughs> Look at the boys! Oh, it's the exact scene that the remake shows! Same camera angle and everything! So faithful! The same camera angle and everything. Isn't that crazy? Oh! No thanks, bro. Oh! My, we've got a feisty one. If you care for your own well-being, I suggest you surrender yourself and simply become our hostage. Or Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. The boys. I'm never turning into one of them. Never. Got that right. We'll find a cure. <laughs> yeah, Leon. Got that right.
Oh, okay, Janus. We'll find a cure. Mr. Scott. Oh, yeah, the Dittman glitch. Doubt that. I hope the Western Custom is super OP and you need it for speedruns, even though it's a pre order thing. Oh, you didn't pre-order it? Well, sorry, you can't compete on the leaderboards. That sucks. What is it be? 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 Follow me. Uh, I wish I had the rifle for this next section, aka water room, but that's okay, I guess. It's gonna be pretty rough, probably. Dead. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Bullshit, that one is. What? Wait. Not more JJ's, dude. Oh, they're the worst enemy in the entire game. And this is why, because he died in one hit. Oh, well, thankfully we have enough to tank a shot. JJ is the fucking worst enemy in the game, actually. Are oh, you getting hit by JJ? Oh, you're dead. We have to get away from him. Stop. JJ. 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 JJ, the only thing. The only thing that's actually a problem in this game. JJ. Who would have thought the the guy with a minigun is a problem in a game that Yeah, there it is. I wish he could turn JJ off in the rando, I really do. He's just the only, like, unbalanced, unfun... ...thing. Wait. He better not be in the fucking remake. And if he is... Like, take away the fucking minigun, dude. Here comes the other JJ. 
Here comes the other JJ. Really? Empty. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. I actually can't. I should have had the rifle, fellas. I should have had the rifle. Please, JJ, don't come at us. I need to deal with this dude. No way, dude. Oh, we're dead. I guess we're just gonna have to go camp in the um we're just gonna have to go camp in the uh in the room and just wait till all of them come in otherwise this is not doable J by the way jj in here if he's up top like in the later portion you can soft lock your legs you had funny legs there And only JJ. I, yeah, I once had all JJs up there and it was brutal. You had to do some MLG shit. God, there's just not enough time. We need to just kill them all here. All right. Let's wait for everyone, I guess. There's JJ. There's gonna be people jumping into my room, but should be okay for now. Oh, I'm reloading. What? Oh, at least he shot the other JJ. Yeah, if he shoots the other JJ, it's like he insta kills or not insta kills, but Finally. Oh. Follow. You have got to be fucking kidding me, dude. Oh my god, the RNG. Enough to make you sick. Please, Archer, please. Archer's and JJ. Enough to make you want to vomit. Please, fuck off. Ma I should oh I should say mass archers and JJ because mass archers are far worse. Look, there's a crank over there. Woo! Yo, lay. I um, I thought I'd do one. I thought I'd do one just to celebrate the remake coming out. This one. If this is JJ, that's all she wrote, guys. Because that's without a sniper, it's not gonna be possible. I don't think. Actually, like, doesn't matter if you're God of RE4. If it's JJ with a lot of health, it's over. It's not.
But I've had JJ here before. That's how I know this. Jesus. Oh, yeah. I need to save my pistol. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me, this fucking parasite. Please. Help! Oh my god, please. Look at this dude! Empty! Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. I cannot stop him without killing Ashley, probably. Where's the archer? Jesus Christ. Uh, pistol ammo? Oh my god. Doing this without the sniper. God damn it, dude. All these parasites. No! Jesus Christ! You. F no, no, don't you start going over there. Idiot. Ashley, can you move away from the archer? Ugh! <laughs> Fuck right off, dude. Fuck right off. No, no, wait. <laughs> Ashley! Come on, come on, come on. Leon! Right here, babe. Don't get hit by the archer or we're, we're boned. Oh, RNG. Oh my god! I will vomit. Oh, I'm sure it's too far away now. Okay. God, that room. It uh, Waterhall is not hard if you have the rifle. And there's no JJ's. Doesn't matter what else happens. If you have the rifle and there's no JJ's, it's fine. But without those two things, woo! It's not fine. Welcome. Thank you, Keeper, not for the rare. house. Uh, thank you, Pantaleon, for the sale, 34. Thank you. Stranger. What are you selling? Oh yeah, the. Uh, it, if you miss the rest of the this rando, it's been really easy just because Thank of the you. just because of Rising of Evil. But that room is bullshit. What are you buying? Um. Now nah, let's. What are you buying? I'm so. Let's let's buy the rifle. It's like super overpriced because of the rando, but whatever. We have ammo for it, so sort of need to. Okay. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Wait, do you have any heels, buddy? We have no heels. What are you buying? He has some eggs. He has eggies. <laughs> Wait. Oh, the brown one's overpriced, dude. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Reload the handgun with what? Uh, 
Thank you, Krista, for the 24. Thank you. You all right? I'm fine. Just leave me alone. Ashley, wait. And they say the remake can't improve anything. Down, down, down. Half the game is because Ashley fucking was an idiot. Fine, leave me alone. Oh boy. Two hours later. Oh. Oh, I have no pistol ammo. Did we get trappers? This trapper here? Hey, hey, buddy! It's me! Akpa Soup! Friend! Thank you for the eggy. TV needs a remake. Dude, after seeing our... The, you know what? The problem with CVX remake has changed now. You know why? <sighs> RE4 remake is going to make... The question of CVX remake... This is just my opinion. But RE4 looks more fun than RE2 and 3, okay? And RE2 and 3, RE2 sold very, very well, RE2 Remake. Now let's say RE4 sells double of what RE2 Remake sold. If they remade Code Veronica, they would have to make it more action-based. They wouldn't have to, but um, if RE4 does like way better than RE2, and they were gonna remake CVX, they would have, I mean, it would be in their best interest to make it a bit more of an action game. Which, honestly, wouldn't work against it. Thank you, Husty, for the 19. Thank you, Zelda, for the 22. Maybe Mr. Scratch. Oh my god. No, no, stop. I don't want to watch this cutscene. Stop, stop! Didn't work on anyone, did it? They're all leaving. Dude! Dynamite guys. Ah, oh, I love the dynamite guys in this game. Dynamite dudes in this game? Probably the enemy that probably makes the game the most fun is the dynamite dudes. I love them. Thank you, Atheist, for the 34. Thank you. You're not the merchant.
Never mind, the diamond did suck. They're so unfun. So unfun. What's up with this health? So the randomizer also randomizes enemy health. So we could encounter like a normal villager that is just like takes like a hundred pistol rounds. Most people don't like this option. Like a lot of people that do the rando turn this off. Um, but I enjoy it sometimes. Dude, see? See how much health that dude has? Blows up a dynamite and takes all that to the head. Oh shit, he's got a rocket launcher. But he has one health. I already finished the super difficult mob. And I'm never ever gonna play it again. Oh my god, I clicked! I clicked! But the fucking rate of fire is too terrible. No, I, I enjoyed the mod. It, it, the only thing that was annoying, like the thing that mainly sucked about the mod was that... Um... Where are these dudes? Like, who the hell are these guys? The main thing that sucked about the mod was that all the crashing. Why is there... That backfired. No, the guy never came back that offered me the thousand dollars. He never came back. I never got the 1k, guys. I got the 1k. He'll be back one day though, and we can shun the hell out of him. And that'll be enough. I forget his name. I'd have to look it up again. He's in one of the videos. Oh my god, the dynamite guys, dude! Uh oh. Watch out! I'm saving this rocket launcher guy. Uh-oh, a few of them got thrown. I think. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. I don't mind! Hello? I like that the archers shoot at nothing. Yeah, Leia, yeah. He's got a rocket launcher. Run! I hope RE4 isn't as short as RE3 or missing cards. Um, I mean, just from the tr from the trailer alone, it is already, like, if they include the stuff from the trailer, which, fucking Christ, dude, the RNG. If they include the stuff from the trailer, it's our, sadly, this is true. If they include the stuff from, that was in the RE4 trailer, so if they put the stuff in the game that's in the game, it's already more than RE3. Like, seriously. Not a lot of people know this, but RE3 Remake is missing like 70% of the fucking game. Like there's no, there's no worry about that anymore. It, it already isn't that bad guys. For those who are in denial and are still scarred from RE3 Remake. It's just the trailer alone shows us that it isn't that bad already.
Even if there was no island, it's still a longer game and it's still more faithful. Because, like, I could put this in RE4 terms easily for you guys. Let's say they cut the island. And like I said, oh, oh, it's still more faithful if they cut the entire island. Yeah, because once you, once you get to the Clock Tower Nemesis fight in 3 Remake, nothing besides the Carlos segment is in the game from the original. Nothing. And that's like the halfway point. So if they cut the island, it's still more faithful, you understand? Because the clock tower is gone, the waste disposal factory is gone, the park is gone. Three massive areas are gone. So... Ah! Ah. I hear a regenerator. What's he doing up there? Get down from there. Get down from there. Real good game. Happy words remake. Not quite sure why that's so hard for some people to understand. Thank you, Merc. All right. He has ascended. Come down. Come down from there. Oh, well, if you're not gonna come down, you're dying up there, bud. We'll get him. I'm taking pictures with my nose, guys. Well, how else am I supposed to do it? My hands are busy. I just had no idea I missed out on 70% of the original game until after I beat it. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Thank you, Torgo. Uh... Yeah, that's the kind of stuff my editor puts me through. I have to damage my own nose to get thumbnails for that tyrant. <laughs> you can stop right there. <laughs> Here it comes. My favorite part of the remake. He's it. It's Lay in the chat. He's here. There he is. <laughs> yeah. He totally doesn't do all the work. Yeah, I did see that, Dark Master. You can stop right there. Careful, Bork. There's only a few more days left of the DBD event. That's okay. Thank you. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Open up now.
Okay. Every single room, I'm like, I gotta use the bathroom, but I keep going. Can't stop. solid fat that's sick all right hold your horses guys i gotta use the bathroom and i'm gonna off you in a second Leon! He held the fort! He held the fort! Yo, vampy monster! <laughs> My game. <laughs> I will also soil my pants. Hello? It's an Iron Maiden, I can't knife them. Whoa! I'm empty. Uh oh. a waste of ammo. No, he has too much health. I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna give up. If I have to reload again, I'm throwing in the towel. Okay, actually, you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna... <laughs> I don't think I should waste a billion bullets on uh, someone that can be avoided. I thought it'd be funny, though. I thought it'd be funny if I got him. 
the place of parasites. Like, which Ganado has a parasite and which doesn't is RNG. Oh shit, I wasn't even looking. Excuse me. No oh, balls. Surprised it didn't hit me. Don't do it. Okay. Woo! Buddy, please! Whoa! <laughs> what? Oh my god, I didn't even know they could jump off! Did I, is that the first time I've ever seen that? I don't know. I thought they were just stuck. Oh my god, dude! I knew it! I'm just too afraid of the regenerator. And the door closing, more so. Oh my god. Let me out of here. That was invisible! You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. See you. If the merchant is over there, I am gonna be so pissed. Okay. Yo, thank you, Lemon Lime, for the fifth case on YouTube, and I can't wait. Looks really good. Thank you, Lemon Lime, for the 50! Thank you, it looked awesome. Thank you so much for the big 5 -oh. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Now that I have the sample, you serve me no purpose. Sadler! My boy Salazar will make Salazar. sure you follow the same fate. I hope Leon and Salazar have Stay that funny me. relationship. I'm a researcher. Hired by Sadler. He found out what I was up to. <laughs> Don't talk. Here. It should suppress growth of the parasite. The sample. Sadler took it. You have to get it back. Lewis! Lewis! Yes, I will do that. Remind me at the end of the stream. Freeze! Who? Ooh, sorry about that, babe. Yo, Sino, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Hope you had a good stream. Are you Peppa pumped for RE4 Remake? Help! I'm coming! <laughs> oh, it's always a little dicey in the rando. Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> he has too much health! Alrighty. No more. No! The head guy. The guys with the helmet on. No, no, no. Not cool! Stop! He's creeping. No. Oh, nice. That's awesome. It's 
Sinnoh so is a real gamer and cosplayer. Oh my god. Please no more... No more guys with helmets. <laughs> for the love of god. Or I won't have enough ammo for this section. Oh wait. Alright, hopefully this doesn't kill Ashley. We'll see though. Yeah, I have random enemy health on. Not the greatest decision. Okay, don't kill Ashley. Don't kill- No! The helmet! Don't kill Ashley! Don't kill Ashley! Okay. Dude. They're all- oh. oh, Shit, shit, shit. Thank you, Black Suit, for the six months. Oh yeah, you can kill her. Here's how you kill her. Shoot her once and she's dead. Where is this guy? He's running. I thought he was up here with me for a second. I got the key. Bros. You better run. Oh no. Okay. Uh, they actually play the save room theme in the I noticed in the uh in the trailer. Yep, yeah, yeah, when it shows the merchant, yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice it either. Someone was like, you can hear the save theme at some certain point. I went to the certain point and it was wrong. It was just a random song. And then I kept letting the VOD play, and I was like, oh wait, but right after that, it does actually play the save theme. Yeah, it sounded awesome. Let's get out of here. What do I feel about Lewis's face? It's vastly different, but you know what? I think it's perfect. I honestly think it's perfect. Like, that face definitely 
like this this Lewis is more of like he does say a couple slimy things, but he's more of like a handsome gentleman kind of guy, but in his own way. I think the new one's gonna be like much greasier in terms of personality. Leon Ashley But likable, you know. You did good. I'm sorry if I was Oh, don't worry about it. Worry about it. Come on, let's move on. Don't worry about it, Giga Chad. Oh my god. Oh, for a split second I was like, I was terrified of this room because of stupid rising and rising of evil, this room was really hard. Viva la poopa! Uh, I did see this. I think I think that stuff about the wolf is not true. I seen the picture. It's definitely some other wolf. It is a hundred percent bait. And that's, and honestly, it's perfect for RE4 Remake to play the game, see that some wolf got clapped, and then you actually see the real dog later. Just the red herring. Or, and or the picture they shown could have been one of the infected wolves that just walked in a trap, and that's just a thing in the game where the villager traps can actually catch the infected dogs. So, I'd say it's one of the two things. But I'm not worried about the, <laughs> yeah. Everyone, everyone loves when a video game kills an otherwise alive dog. That's, that's something people want really badly, especially North Americans. Fucking North Americans will buy a goddamn game if you could pet the dog. Oh, I'm not buying that game. You, at streamer, you could pet the dog, you know, oh, really? Holy shit! Come in! Come in! Yikes. I like pet- I like getting to pet the dog. I tried to hit both of them. It worked. I'm gonna jump. Thank you, Lathe. For the prime gaming, thank you, thank you. This whole segment is so like out of place. Like what the fuck is this? And also, what are we in a volcano? Yeah, 
You know, you you motivated me to read your chat history just because I noticed a few dent head things motivation shady. Let's see, let's see. Stream harder, stream harder, box stream harder. RE4 remake looks like shit. I agree with your Twitter post. RE4 is poop. Who said you could at me? I hope they this place is a cut. Murder. I will murder you. Sadler, Sadler, Sadler. Sadler's a jerk. Bach crack. Shoot Ashley. Kill Ashley. Kill Ashley. Kill Ashley. No balls. You have one last chance before you get banned. If you say anything that's remotely stupid ever again, that's bye bye. Kill Ashley. That's right, that's you, Motivation Shady. That's you. That's you. Are you gonna be a good little boy or are you gonna get one last razz up before? Thank you, MJ Boule, for the 12 months. Thank you. And thank you, Jiren, Sabo, and Mr. Copy. Thank you. Look at the beautiful carpet. Please tell me in the remake we get a Dark Souls remake qual or Demon Souls remake quality background. Yeah, was cake. Hell yeah, dude. Outbreak remake is next, buddy. Did you guys see, by the way, in Reverse, they added Ari to original Super Tyrant to Reverse. I'm pumped for all the Silent Hill stuff. Like, obviously I'm skeptical and I'm not... I'm trying to be optimistic, but... Um... But... Yeah, it is Konami. I think everything looks relatively cool, but we'll see. All right, this room is actually garbage because the enemies can go through walls. I was razzed so much in my Rise and Vivo playthrough because people kept saying, why does he throw a flashbang to kill the dogs instantly? And you know what? I tried it. And uh, I got bad news. Oh no. There's one in the wall. There it is. I eat the egg. I eat the super trooper. Hey, thank you, Lord Chaos. Hmm. Is a guy under me? Nice, he's doing the spins. He's doing the spins!
Uh -oh. I know, Theos. I really hope they take their time with it and make sure it's perfect. Thank you, Cyber, for Follow. the 400 bits. Thank you. No, I didn't get the collector's edition. I tried. I was reminded at the start of the stream to look, and then I looked, and it was all slid out in Canada. Feels bad. Whatever, though. Wait. It's fine. Oops. Follow me. Wait. Yeah, Dark Tide looks awesome. Uh, did I get your first? I got your sub. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. I got that. Let's see. I'll check if I got it. Did not, but I did get your sub. Thank you. Follow me. Oh, wait. I have to check something really quick. One second, guys. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm on the internet. It's cool in here. Oh, thank you. I did get it. Five dollars. Thank you so much. Uh, cool. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lith. I got the five. All right. I now that I need to change something. One sec. I have two donation. <laughs> uh, well, I have one thing that says donation and one thing that. Hey, wait. Uh, elements. Where is the donation link to? Um, I have a donation link somewhere. That takes you to stream labs, but I don't know where it is. I need to get rid of it finally. Because a lot of people still use it. Uh, I don't know where it is. Wait, maybe it's not here anymore. But yeah, I use stream elements now. So if you, if you donate through stream labs, I, I actually don't see it. Unless I really look for it. I have to look deep. Yeah, I'm not sure where I put it. Oh, maybe it is Mubot. Wait, wait. Was Mubot saying it? Is it Mubot? Custom commands. Oh, I don't see it. Sponsor, sub. In my about section. Oh yeah, Servian, you're the one who did that before. That's right, that's right. All right, one sec. I'm sorry for the delay, guys. I just need to change this. Thank you so much for the five dollars, though. Uh, my FAQ. Okay, FAQ. Here we go. I'm looking. I'm looking. 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 I don't see it. I don't see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes you to stream elements. Same with the donate link. Hmm. I'm not sure. 
under the about section under Instagram. I still don't see it. You know what? I will fix it. Okay. Come here. This part's always bugged. See? Yo, Mars. Come on, Ashley. Who wants to check my my internet history? Motivation. You think I'm not a man of my word? Bye. That counted as one singular remotely stupid thing. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Yo, dragon. And thank you, adventurous gator, for the two months. Thank you. Wait. Uh oh. Holy shit. Follow me. Oh wait, don't follow me. Wait. Ah. Oh wait, I need this. Follow me. Look. What up, Ah. Yo, Grubin. Hmm, yeah, maybe it is there. I'll check after. Wait. I know, that'd be so sick if they actually do another chainsaw controller. Thank you, Dirty Jawa, for the 22. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just doing a chill playthrough of the randomizer. Um, just cause I always want to play it. And then tomorrow, and or for all the rest of the days for October, we'll do other new horror game or other horror games. I gotta, I have to save some pistol ammo. Thank you, mascot, for the 14. Thank you. Whoa. Oops, I don't want to go down here. Follow me. You catch her here? I actually can't remember the last time I jumped down here. Yeah. Thank you, Tula, for the Prime Gaming. Thank you. Uh oh. They all jumped. They all jumped! Or not all of them, but... Did 
Gentlemen. Gentlemen. I'm not too concerned about Ada's DLC. It's not that good anyway. I would like it. I think it, it's fine, but... Welcome. Just get mercenaries right, is all Not I care about. Rare thing. What are you buying? Is that all, stranger? What are you buying? What are you selling? Is, <laughs> is that all? Is that... <laughs> Thank you. Purple... Oh, I should have got the other gem. Ah. <laughs> Thank what are you buying? What are we buying? Goodbye the broken butterfly. Ooh. Oh my god, it's cheap. There we are. <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> <laughs> not enough, not, not, not enough cash. Come back anytime. They will charge us extra for everything, I guarantee you. I mean, they're already adding a lot to the pre order. What was the pre order bonus for RE2 remake or RE3 remake? This pre order is like four costumes, right? Four costumes, two weapons, and then two other things. Is that the pre-order? We check. Pre-order bonus. Pre-order bonuses. Uh, can't find the picture. Uh, pre-order the deluxe edition. Wait, wait. Oh, those are just for. Wait, wait. Then what is the the four costumes from? Is that the extra, extra monies? Oh, that's from the deluxe, I see. Well, we already know what the extra money will get us then. I don't care, like, when it comes to Resident Evil or franchises I love, I would rather, like, like for example, I can hate on RE4 remake all day for making the deluxe edition have four awesome costumes and a couple extra cool stuff like the two weapons and whatnot like and especially if you can only get them with that with the deluxe edition if that's the only way you can't do it from in-game gameplay that is lame that sucks i i hate modern gaming but i fucking wish re3 remake if re3 remake hit dino crisis regina and and all the costumes from the original behind like a 20 buck dlc It'd be annoying, but fuck, dude. At least it'd fucking be there. Hmm. My impressions of the Leon statue. Um, it looks nothing like any Leon I've ever seen, but sure. Oh, my game crashed. Uh, uh-oh. Do you guys remember? It crashed or at that part for Rising of Evil, too. Yeah, just with like a Leon cosplayer. It does, like... It does not look like Leon. It looks like a streamer I watched Distortion 2. Like, it looks like, you know how he's like... Giga Chad kind of person? It looks exactly like him. Alright, please don't crash again. Let's just watch the cutscene. Holy shit, there he is! Me, there Gary. he is! If you even scratch her, I'll break your bones. Oh! First, we shall see if you can make it this far. I'll be waiting. Did you beat Stay Out of the House Dist? Yeah, remake looks incredible. Shit. Please don't crash. Oh, we're in. You wait, you beat it? Which ending?
Not that, not that it shocks me that the mighty Disorsa 2 beats some baby game. Oh, of course. Uh oh. We have to go. I love that those hit random spots on the fucking castle. It's great. Oh, nice. You did the whole bunker part too. Nice. It must not have bugged out on you. Or maybe it did. But I had to redo so many sections because the game bugged on me. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna tell you when you join if you joined uh, the channel. So um, I'm trying to remember what what did bug. Oh, in the whole bunker section, the the guy didn't activate the the killer until I got to the elevator part, and he was just in the elevator. Like there, you couldn't get him out, and you couldn't kill him or anything. And if you entered the elevator, it was like auto death. It was fucking brutal. And. Some of the survivors appeared in the bunker part, just standing there. And other survivors wouldn't follow me. Thankfully, the survivors didn't matter for any of the endings, but yeah. Like, my game was bugging out so fucking hard. It was so bad. But I, I love that game, though. It's so fun. Like, besides the... Uh-oh. Besides the glitches, I actually really enjoyed it. I hear a regenerator. Oh! Uh. My neck! No more regenerators, because it'll kill me. Oh, I'm running low on heals. I'm running low on heals! More crows. Alright, don't do your grab attack. Do your swing. Thanks. Oops. Oof. What is this guy? Dude. Nice. I was just gonna run by them, but... Does that guy have a helmet on? I think he does. Bomba Verde. Uh-oh. They're coming. Oh my god, dude. If you're still here, Dis, did you- is there any other, uh, Puppet Combo games you haven't played yet? Or any of the decent ones? Thank you, Pyro, for the 28. Thank you. This part's gonna be yes. sick. Leon! Do you guys think they'll have the Mr. cowboy Candy. costume? Don't you know when it's time to throw in the towel? Uh oh. <gasps> no! Leon! Leon! Hmm. 
Where's the satisfying sound Thank you, Orlok. Don't fall for this old trick. Yeah. How dare you! No more games! Kill him! Kill! He's going. Quickly! We shall prepare for the ritual! Larxio with the 50 months. Thank you, madam. Thank you so much. Nice to see you, madam. Madam Larxio. Yeah, what did you think of Phantasmagoria? Was it the best Welcome. game ever? Don't you love Curtis? Got a selection of good things on. What are you buying? Hell yeah, dude. What are you buying? <laughs> Not enough cash. Come back anytime. That game is the best. I'm so glad you played that. It's so funny. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter what, like, we live in a, it's a, it's a different age now than when everyone here was kids, if you're not a kid already. Like, some people don't realize, let's say Ari, let's say, God, I don't know. Let's say Silent Hill actually got a remake, Silent Hill 1, and they showed a massive trailer and it looked one to one, like just like RE1 remake, but Silent Hill 1. People, people would be vocal. They'd fucking hate it because, oh, they didn't change anything. So boring. Like, you know, when someone asked me, hey, did you see people are hating on this thing? I don't even need to look. People hate fucking everything. There's a couple RE4, or like people that play a lot of RE4 I follow on Twitter that said they don't like how the remake looks. Which, you know, um, it is what it is. It is what it is. Ouch. It is what it is. Would I rather... Would I rather... Okay. I'm playing a remaster of RE4 right now. I'm literally playing one. People say that all the time too. Like, Code... Oh man, I want Code Veronica to get a remaster. It literally has a remaster. Oh wait, this might be someone different. Uh oh. Alright. Uh, <laughs> you can't kill him when he spawns here, so I'm just gonna run. Code Veronica X for the PS3 is a remaster. It's a shitty remaster, but it's a remaster. Well, what's not true? What What isn't true? Suko Blue, what isn't true? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't say you specifically, I said there's people out there. I'm not I'm not talking to like you know, if you're watching the stream, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking to everyone, like difficulty the internet. The American pig. Krauser. His chance. Krauser, go get the girl. Oh, and uh, dispose of the swine while you're at it. Consider it done. Gotta love Krauser. Krauser. Consider it done. Not everyone would hate a Silent Hill remake. I think people would fucking love a Silent Hill remake. I think Silent Hill 1 is one of the best possible games to get a remake in the world, as well as Dino Crisis and Parasite Eve. What I said was there would people be people that would complain. I never said it would be a bad thing to do. I think it's the smartest thing to do. Reload. Welcome. Got a selection of come. You got jack shit. Time. 
Oh yeah, Dark Master. Can you imagine if we get the Krauser and Leon Mud wrestling in the remake? Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dark Master. Yes, I would love that. The only the only time I think an actual one-to-one -one remake with no changes except graphics would be and like slight gameplay would be good is if you're going from like N64 era 3D like terrible graphics to like god tier new graphics like like bringing bringing like Super Mario World to current gen like looks better than Odyssey one to one fuck yeah dude like if you're bringing something with NES SNES or like early 3D graphics to the new age one to one is fine but for something like RE4 or even Dead Space like like Dead Space is a really good example because that is what's that's what that's gonna be I think I'm pretty sure Dead Space remake is gonna be like one to one with some slight differences on enemy spawns and stuff, um, and um, that's gonna be interesting to see because that's literally just gonna be like a slight or not slight it's gonna just be a graphics upgrade. If you walk through and like what oh of course for the better in remake kind of video. Yeah, Raven. Um. Stuff like that, like Dead Space One remake, might be just a one and done playthrough. Even 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 Demon Souls. Look at Demon Souls for a sec. Demon Souls remake was god tier, and it was one to one, almost like ninety nine percent one to one. And then they added like the coins and shit, but for like nothing. Um, and look at what happened to all the Soul speedrunners. All the Soul speedrunners got bored of Demon Souls in like. In like a week, in like a week, that that game was like insanely hype. It like so many viewers on Twitch, so many people were talking on and on about it. But see how fast it died? That's because it's the exact same game. It doesn't have any staying power. It with people playing now. If you're, let me reiterate this. I'm not speaking to you directly in chat. If you're sitting there thinking like, "What's he talking about? I play Demon Souls every week. It's got cool." I'm talking about the general public. Generally speaking, like people are just gonna be Demon Souls once, and be like, "All right, cool. That was exactly like my other playthrough, just a slightly better graphics and way better load times, which makes the game way better, by the way." But yeah, so it's it's a conversation to be had around that fact. Like when you don't change anything about the game and you just improve the graphics, before you even finish it, you might already be like semi bored of it because you've already played that exact same game. You are all the enemies are the same. Everything is the exact same except the graphics. But then when you play something like RE2 Remake, you don't know what to expect. You don't know what's going to be around the corner. But you know it's going to be good because it's RE2 Remake. Things like that. So it's just like there are positives and negatives to making both kinds of content. I think at the end of the day, I would rather remakes be like like RE2 Remake, but not Slack. You know, RE2 Remake slacked on a couple things like the B scenarios. And um, uh, there was some stuff to be desired. It's still a god tier game, but yeah. Um... Like I said the other day, if if they, I think RE2 Remake would have easily been like objectively best Resident Evil ever made if the B scenarios were what they could have been. And let's say they added a C scenario, like went extra overboard, just like we're talking about, and Leon could go down the Claire path and you could meet Sherry as Leon and you meet Claire or Ada as Claire and you go down those pathways and see what would have happened if Claire met Ada and Leon never met Ada until the end, like like they're in the well, they he would never ever meet Ada in that scenario, just like Claire would never meet Sherry, you know, just to see. Now that would have been like a ten of ten, best remake of all time, no questions asked. Just extra content that changes everything, but it has nothing to do with canon. You know what I mean? Yeah, or like Marvin survives in the C scenario too. Go all out. Like Marvin survives and makes it to the end, you know? That'd be sick. That'd be fucking sick. Just to see what would have been. Um, but they didn't go all out with the remake. As good as it is, they, they definitely could have done a little more when compared to the first game. And and just before I leave, I'm on a rant mode right now. And you, a lot of you in chat might be thinking like, that's crazy, dude. That's way too much. Like they got to make a profit. Look at RE1 to RE1 Remake. They did that exact thing. They did that exact thing. They added that much extra content and kept all the original stuff. Now, I know RE2 has much more content than RE1, so remaking that game with modern graphics is a lot harder. I get it. But look at fucking Elden Ring. 
Elden Ring has hundreds and hundreds of hours of content and it costs the same price. You know what I mean? It costs the same price. They could have done it. They chose not to. And, and just to defeat all arguments against that, well, Elden Ring reuses a lot of stuff. That's exactly what RE2 Original did. <laughs> With the B scenarios. For example, Super Lickers aren't in RE2 Remake. Guess what the difference between Super Lickers are and Lickers? The hidden statistics, which is changing a one to a zero, and the color. They change the fleshy red, pinkish red to brown. And they did it! They did it! They're super lickers! Yeah. Anyways. I hope RE4 goes the extra mile. I hope RE4 goes the Elden Ring direction and just fucking knocks it out of the goddamn park. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna say it during the trailer, but yeah, I seen a ton of I seen a ton of RE Village and Seven assets in just the trailer for RE4, but it doesn't bother me. Like, I seen the box with the yellow tape. <laughs> it's, it's there. Classic. But the more games that come out, the less, the less, like, apparent that stuff's gonna be. Oh, I have no more ammo. Coming down. Oh fuck, I forgot to go press the button first, derp. I always do that. I don't ever complain about reused assets. Except in like our Ugh, this com these kinds of conversations, it's just mentioning RE3 remake is just not it just sucks because it's like it's just like it's the definition of all these bad things, but it's because it was made to be that way. It was made with a budget, with a with a side project. Like they they, they didn't care. So it's like you can counter all these points by saying RE3 remake, but they just don't fucking care about that game. Like, yeah, it's very un it's very unreasonable to have like two new zombies from RE, like RE2 Remake, then RE3, and then there's like two extra new zombie models when there should be like 20 or two fucking hundred if they really went all out. But no, you're in an open city and you're seeing Raccoon City and there's no civilians. It's still just the cops and the random like construction workers because they just didn't care, so. And that game should have had just ran like a clown, a random clown. It should have had like a cowboy. It should have all the village people. You know what I mean? But it didn't.
That would have been the perfect game to have, like, um, just, like, actual random, like, career people walking around, like a plumber who has a plunger stuck to his butt. Not really. But, you know what I mean. Just a clown. Fireman. Yada, yada, yada. Like, right by a burning building. Right by the construction site. There could have been construction zombies and firemen zombies. All right there. But no, it's just like cops from the RPD station. Ideally, if they if they Elden Ringed RE3 or RE4, for example, if they Elden Ringed RE3, then every single zombie in the entire game would have been its own unique person. But why do that on a game that you know for a fact isn't gonna sell like a Elden Ring? Oh fuck! depends on the assets that you reuse. You're playing about like a box or like a, a shoe or something that you're being dramatic as fuck. But let's say you play a new monster hunter and there's no new monsters. That is where the complaints are valid. You know what I mean? Or you play RE3 remake and Nemesis isn't there. It's just Mr. X again for whatever reason. Thank you, Dark Master. We appreciate it. He better come up in the remake like Crocomir from Super Metroid. Spo just bones come up like one last hurrah. Would I want Silent Hill 2 to be the same level as RE2 remake if it meant Silent Hill 3 gets the RE3 remake treatment? No. <laughs> no. But that is a great question. Does it count the same model with different animations? You're referring to a game, I can't remember which one. Maybe it is Monster Hunter. Am I gonna play Re- wait, is the reverse beta tomorrow? Oh! Tomorrow night. I know what I'm doing tomorrow night. I'm gonna have to take it dead serious so I can't stream it, guys, because I'm gonna be really focused on the leaderboard. I think Reverse looks fun as well, don't get me wrong. I'm a Reverse fanboy. I, like, I always memed about there being a battle pass. That's what. That was what it would take to make it a good game. I did not think they'd add one though. Like I knew I knew it needed it, but it's actually there. Oh, reverse is definitely gonna be game of the day. Game of the decade, yeah.
Get free verse game of the hour. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna play God of War actually. I'm not sure. I would like to, but we'll see if there's anything else coming out during that time. Maybe I'll play God of War. I want to play God of War. It's just not a great stream game. Completely kill your and your analytics for a week of war. true mega ronti but for, for my case i just like talking welcome got some rare what are you boy but you're right if only the internet worked that way that was sort of my point of tweeting out that silent hill thing it's like i tweeted out the dumbest fucking thing i could possibly think of for silent hill 2 remake and still it got insane traction and people were quoting me like finally someone that's speaking about the truth like, dude, I literally said the dumbest thing I could fucking think of. And you're there like, yeah, hell yeah, dude. Fu it's just like, what are you selling? Man, that kind of tweet should have been completely ignored by every human. <laughs> because it was the <laughs> fucking <laughs> stupid as all hell. But no, there were still people like, yeah, finally. And Giga Chad. And I'm aware most people were ki like a lot of people that commented we're kidding. I'm not an idiot. But I'm also aware that, that a lot of people weren't kidding. At any time. What are you selling? I think most of my followers seen that and instantly were like, okay, <laughs> he's kidding. <laughs> but people that thank you. <laughs> didn't know. Thank we're not gonna get the other ones. Thank you. Or the other ones for that. Thank you. What are you buying? Can we fully upgrade the Punisher? <laughs> no, not <Thank> yet. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'll be in the remake. He'll be in the remake. I am not concerned. He definitely will be there. I seen the picture of the dead dog by the trap. That is 100% a red herring. That's just so people later when the game comes out will tweet, well, everyone at the same time on the internet will be like, the dog actually lived. And then it's gonna trend on the internet and then that's gonna get more people looking at RE4 and that's gonna sell more copies, yada, yada, yada. The idea's done. Why would a company show a dead dog to promote their game? You know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm actually, I'm shocked how many people are fucking buying a hook, line, and sinker. The amount of times I've been at Bakpa souped to just see the dog doesn't live in RE4 will blow your mind. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe he is dead. I fucking doubt that though. Ugh! Right to the tummy! Oh, you! Oh, trap remains! Get fucked. Ah! There might be someone scary up here. 
He's going out. All right, this room has the most enemies in the game, by the way. So if you want to see the most enemies all grouped up at once, this is the room. Actually, though. Oof. He'll nay nay? Like watch him whip, whip, and then he'll nay nay? You mean that? Cock shots! Oh, yeah, I figured he'd be doing that. James is definitely got a dab and stuff. I do feel bad, like. Solid Hill to remake. Trailer dropping. Now, don't get me wrong, I think it looks great. But just sharing like a obvious obvious to me kind of thing. And then RE4 remakes trailer dropping the next day. Sort of is just like The better game is very, very clear. Um I just feel bad because Konami held in those silent four silent hill games for fucking a century, and then you're like here it all is, guys! And then Capcom's like, here's one fucking game. And it looked god tier. Now, like I said, it doesn't mean I I'm still just as excited for Silent Hill 2, but it's funny how, like, you know. They didn't show us any gameplay, and then RE4 was like, here's some gameplay. It's the best fucking gameplay you've ever seen for a horror game. And I'm so glad I played Rising of Evil. This game ain't shit. The base game ain't shit anymore. Or this isn't the base. I mean, God, the base game is going to... You know, actually, it's... It's sort of a... Now that I really think about it, it sort of sucks. The base Resident Evil 4, at this point... Is this going to be a joke? I won't even be able to play it anymore. No ammo. Prove it. That's true, I should! I gotta get back to running it! Oh, he cannot get on. But hey! By the way, for those who didn't don't know this, the randomizers, the randomizer for RE2 original, sort of hurt the speedrun, the speedrun's popularity, because the RE2 randomizer is so nutty, and then the actual base game just seems so basic now. You know what I mean?
Now, I'm so excited for every part in RE4. Is the wood gonna hit him? I thought you- Oh no! It's a JJ. I shouldn't have done that. But I'm pretty sure if you aim downwards, you can actually duck under, but that didn't work. JJ's coming aboard. Does he miss? He did not miss. Oh, this is not pleasant. Stun, you bastard! <laughs> oh shit. Why won't he stun? Oh great, they have helmets on. This is perfect. Alright. Wait, let's reload this just in case. He has the bow. Bowman. I'm out of ammo. <laughs> Did you see the handgun ammo? The handgun ammo went flying. <laughs> thank you, Apple, Child of Aztec. Thank you so much. And thank you, Lurking Wolf Fan, again, the Dark Master. We are. That's true, Shane. There wasn't. Gentlemen? Oh, God. Please don't come any closer, fellas. Actually. I actually need some ammo. But they don't have any. Uh-oh. Harry crossbow bolts. Oh, that'd be sick. Yo, Cookie. This room can be really toxic. Here, chickens. I hear chickens. I hear chickens. The sound of my people. Where's he going?
Oh, they're waiting. You guys are gonna be waiting a while. Watch out, chicken. <gasps> You guys killed him! They killed him! Those bastards. That was all their fault. That was all their fault. No, 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 that wasn't me, that wasn't me. We have it on tape, they turned around and they, sh they shot him. They, they shot him. They shot him, they shot him. Let's just pretend that was, um, uh, that guy we banned earlier. I forget his name. He was a one month resub. So he was technically a soup trooper. What's his name? Yeah, that is, uh, yeah, that's, um, I forget, we banned him earlier. We banned him, I, I forget. No one even remembers his name, wow. Doesn't even have a legacy, jeez. Chit troll. That stuff's so unfunny, no one remembered. Like, ten minutes later. Motivation Shady, that's him. There he is. That's Motivation Shady. All right, so there, it's all good. It's all good. I have like no ammo. Randomizers can be rough. Maxi got RE7 in? Oh, hell yeah. Here, I want to check out the games list really quick. Four oh four, Schedule. Event info. Uh, game submission. Alright. Check them out really quick. RE7? Nightmare of Decay! Oh, sick! Hey! Do you guys remember when I said I could call any game that would get in a GDQ? Do you remember? I said if someone submitted Nightmare of Decay, it would get in 100%. And there it is. Um, that is... Oh, End of Zoe! Oh, nice! Yikes. That's sick. I'm so glad Nightmare of Decay got in, because it's such a good game. And RE6. Uh, anything else to search? Um... Mega Man Rock and Roll... Zelda... Skyward Sword... Ocarina of Time... Oh, right. It must be a race. Breath of the Wild. Another one? Wait, what's this? Bonus. Link to the past. Holy shit. Metroid Prime. Cool. And Dread. Castlevania. Oh, nice. Vania, Aria Soros, Symphony of the Night. Oh, all bosses. Nice. Harmony of Despair is in too? Damn. Um, let's see. What else is there to search? 
Poppy's Playtime Chapter 2. Oh, Nemusha! Oh, that's good. Ill bleed. Punchy. Oh my god, Cloud Market? Oh, backup. Ah. Well, at least backup. Elden Ring. Souls. Dark Souls 2. Guess I'll search Elden Ring manually. Nope. Ah, uh, no Silent Hills got in. Oh wait. No. Gex. Gex got declined. Well, nothing else I really care about. Uh, oh yeah, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider, none. Uh, Turok, that's a good question. Nope. No Dead Rising. Yeah, wait. All right, let me search the people. Uh, hmm. All right. Sacred rite that's about to begin at this tower shall endow the girl with magnificent power. She will join us, become one of us. This is no ritual, it's terrorism. Isn't that a popular word these days? Not to worry, we've prepared a special ritual for you. Take that elevator in the remake, please, because this fucking room sucks balls. Donkey Kong room, yeah. <laughs> really, though. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we'll be playing Batora after this. I'm doing a sponsored stream. Sponsor, sponsor Basoop this month. Holy shit, dude. He didn't pull it. Sell out Saturday. Oh yeah! What happened to what happened to my Dying Light 2 sponsor? I have no clue actually. Did the DLC come out? I don't think it did. Please no range guys. Please no range guys. No crossbowmen.
isn't that a popular word these days? Hey, 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 I want that ammo! Whatever. Holy shit, how many of you are there? Another one? Holy sh... What the frick? What the hell? Why are there so many? I've never seen this. No, that's not okay, Crashy. I used to run Breath of the Wild. I love that game. Wait, there's more. Jeez. A lot of people. I love the Breath of the Wild speedrun. It's so fucking good. Or it used to be. At least. I did not play that yet, Shane. I probably will play it tomorrow or something. I gotta focus on going back to... So if you guys haven't watched in a while, I've been doing something called Boktober, where I'm playing a bunch of random horror games every day. Um, and I took a little break because the Silent Hill stuff, the Resident Evil stuff, so I want to play some Silent Hill, I want to play some Resident Evil. Um, and yeah, then I'm going back to that stuff tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm going to play exactly, but... Um... October! Oh no, there's no merchant. Oh nice, Grubin. I don't I still don't have my Boktober stuff. Crunch. Third person demo feels weird on keyboard versus controller. Definitely increase the mouse sensitivity on keyboard. That's what I did. And it made the game way better. But yeah, when I first played the third person RE Village demo, it was like bad. But once I increased the sensitivity on the mouse, it was a lot better. Um, They, they definitely should have sent... Well, it, it depends on what people's mouse is at. But I think they should have made the sensitivity higher as opposed to lower, just so people realize you can actually turn. Because if it's low, if your mouse sensitivity is low when you boot it up, it's like you can't even fuck it. It's like you... This is really good. And if... Here, let me lower... Oh. What? I wonder, here's the ultimate question. Will they let you buy the rocket launcher in new game as opposed to new game plus? What do you guys think? Friendly fire. I hope to God, even though in this base game you can buy the rocket launcher from the start of the game to the end. Please don't do it, Capcom. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Save it for the end. I think of it as I think of like online games or I think of like this a, a replayable repetitive game. The rocket launcher is like the definition the definition of imbalanced in this game. If you're going to make difficulty choices within a video game like this for example, I actually think it's like a, a bad thing about RE4. You can bypass any challenge in this game by killing it with the rocket launcher in one hit and then whatever you kill with the rocket launcher gives you more money than the rocket launcher is worth. So killing stuff with the rocket launcher in RE4 is a profit, if you're not aware. Like that money that we're about to get, that is more than enough to buy another rocket launcher and then upgrade a few weapons. Or let's say best case scenario, buy a new rocket launcher, okay? So how much is the rocket launcher? Was it 30K, right? Isn't the rocket launcher 30K, correct? 
So you buy another rocket launcher with this. Then, let's say your magnum is empty and your sniper rifle is empty. You upgrade the capacity for your magnum and sniper rifle. Boom! Killing the boss with the rocket launcher gave you gave you nine magnum rounds, fifteen sniper rifle rounds, and another rocket launcher. It's so bad. It's so imbalanced. I hope to fucking god they take it out. And in before. As we discussed earlier, the internet has every opinion you could possibly have. Well, me, well, for people that don't want to deal with the boss, you should have rock light. Play easy mode. We just don't buy it. Fucking hate that argument. Just don't buy it. I can't not do that. I can't not do that. My brain doesn't work like that. If there's something OP, I'm getting it. Just don't let it be OP. But no, it's a it's a valid argument to say just don't buy it. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just sharing my own opinion. No, I just know what people are gonna say. And I know what some lurkers think. I like to answer all pending questions as well. Even though you guys never speak up because I say the same fucking shit every day. So most of you guys already heard it, the whole song and dance. And you get banned if you speak against me anyway, or if you have a different opinion. Um, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is stupid though. Like there are some things I am closed minded about and dead set on. And it is, it is, there's no argument towards this. It is the definition of an imbalanced game. It's very silly that in a new game, you can just, like imagine if every game was like that in Legend of Zelda. Imagine though, just hear me out. And that's what I like to think about Twitch chatters too. Like if you say something really fucking stupid and you get banned for it, like imagine if everyone was saying what you said. Imagine if you're like, oh, I'm not even gonna give an example because you guys will just repeat it over and over. But imagine if everyone was talking like that guy that got banned earlier. Imagine the chat experience. It'd be fucking terrible. Now imagine in Elden Ring, before every boss, you could buy a spell called Meteor. And every time you use Meteor, it one shot the bosses. And then when you kill the boss, you get more money to buy Meteor and then some more stuff. And then everyone started doing that. And and the game was balanced around it, and the speed run was balanced around it. And imagine any take any game legend of zelda you could go buy the super master sword before every boss and the super master sword one shot ganon and one shot dungeon bosses and one shot everybody imagine if that was in the game silent hill you could buy the golden pipe walk up to fuck a pyramid head boom one shot you know if every game was like this like the art like the rocket launcher in this game it'd be ridiculously fucking stupid and in terms of and I'm speaking of this from a Twitch perspective and an entertainment perspective. It'd be a fucking shit show. Souls series? Every community would be like the Souls series. Which, if you don't know, if, if you haven't hey, taken a peek in the Souls series community, you used anything but your fists? You fucking cheated. You didn't actually. Oh, you killed Melania, but you used the fucking blood step blade? No, it doesn't count, dude. Every community would be that, and that is fucking horrid to experience. And some people, some people, the lucky ones, a streamer cannot do this, can just waltz around and play whatever game they want and never take a peek at the internet or see what anyone else has to think. But when you have to see what other people have to think, but you guys are probably thinking the same thing about me, like this guy, this, you have to hear what I have to think, which annoys the fuck out of some people, I'm sure. But regardless, it's different. Got some rare. Th what are you buying? <sighs> Oh, ha this ammo will penetrate up to five bodies. <laughs> Thank you. Is that <laughs> not enough cash, stranger? What are you selling? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? What are you buying? <laughs> Thank you. Right, let me speak in terms of the speed run. One of my favorite things about Village and RE3 and RE2 Remake still, even though you use the knife. One of my favorite things about, for in, ter in terms of like, in terms of like entertainment for that whole conversation, it's objective fact. Like it's so 
when you conquer something um, in a game, like you overcome Melania, for example, and then you see every single streamer is just one-shotting it with Super Meteor, and then you think to yourself, like, man, I, I, I thought I'd come on and see, like, professional gamers doing, like, crazy, wacky shit, but in reality, it's just one button. Uh, regardless, though, what the fuck was I going to say? Uh... Uh-oh. Guys, brain fart. For... Oh, RE3 and RE8 speedruns. One of my favorite things about those. Sorry, I could not even think of what I was talking about. A senior moment, yeah. Uh, the boss fights are the best part in those speedruns. Like, when you see that Lady Dimitrescu fight on Village of Shadows, Inferno Final Nemi, Village of Shadows Moreau, Village of Shadows Miranda, those are fucking hype. Because that is 100% skill, you have to do it down to the last fucking bullet! Every bullet counts so much in those fights, because it's that hard to get the optimal Lady Dimitrescu fight. You have to do, you have to play like a robot. It is so technically advanced for a boss fight, it'll blow your mind if you don't know what it's like. Like, you have to, I practiced it for 20 out, 20 fucking hours, one boss fight, and I still only got it in like two runs ever. And still slightly unoptimal as well. Moreau, same thing. I practiced that shit for like 20 hours. And it's not because like, oh, I, it, you require extra practice. You fucking suck at games. Sure, whatever. But everyone actually that ran the game had to practice that much or more. So, and in a game like RE4, you know what I didn't practice in RE4 when I ran this game? Ever? Bosses. You just buy the rock. You, in the speedrun, you just buy the rocket launcher and shoot it. That's it. It sucks. It's boring. It's not fun to watch. And it, it takes out the entertainment value. Just run the category without it. At people care even less about that shit. Need a ride, handsome? <laughs> uh okay. Oof. Okay. In the remake? That's gonna be the merchant. Need a ride, handsome? Okay. And the the boat is gonna be a Tesla, and the cutscene shows it pulling up automatically, and your merchant and Leon are making out. Gotta go, babe. Got some business to take care of. See you later. You think this joke will be in the remake, guys? to break it out to you, but Salazar is dead. Yes, it seems that way. Sadler, why don't you give up and this let my favorite. Go this is my favorite conversation. Perhaps you are disillusioned with overconfidence just because you killed my small-time subordinate. Sadler, you're small-time. Oh. <laughs> Arrive in my cage of torment, my friend. That is like a high school uh, like jock arguing with like the magic card kid god i love it just because you killed my small time subordinate your small time oh right in my cage of torment my friend god i love that it's so nerd like he just comes off as just a giga nerd See, you know what? You know what is interesting about the stealth mechanic in RE4 Remake? Listen to the music right now. And look at the mission objective, okay? The mission objective is to break into this base and find Ashley, right? But it it doesn't here's just there's are many there's many like problems with the island. You can't sneak up. You can't break in. But in the remake, maybe you will. Maybe you'll actually get to sneak. Maybe if you're a, like a god tier player, you can fully sneak in without alerting anybody, you know? And I think things like that would fit because listen to the music. Look at what we're doing. The music is like like Metal Gear Solid 2 right now. You know, it's got that 
consistent tempo. Got those small instruments in the back. Trying to make you think it's like a stealthy mission, you know what I mean? And as soon as you get caught, the music is just fucking goes nuts. But there's no sneaking in this game, so you're caught immediately. Oh! Yeah, and we're caught. And that turns into an action game. I hate this room. I hate a lot of rooms in the in the island. And you know, what? maybe this is maybe that exact thing I explained. Maybe that's why I dislike this room in the back of my mind, because it it's something it's not. You know, stealth mission. Just kidding. It's just an annoying like rock fest. <laughs> I gotta change that chick's voice. Uh, thank you, Turz J, for the resub, and thank you, Sass Dragon, for the 420. I actually didn't get the collector's edition. It's all sold out. Oh! Ugh. By the time it appeared on the Canadian website, it was all gone. Feels bad, man. No rock? I think Capcom- Nah. Oh shit. Oh no! Do I have to redo this whole fucking room? Oh, whew. Sorry, I just didn't even- I was just like, whatever. I won't die. Yeah, I'm not a ref. If you buy a collector's edition, you're actually, um... If you buy a collector's edition and you complain about DLC being locked behind a lot of money or base content, you're part of the problem. How about them apples, huh? You're supporting extra content not being included with your game. Right? I'm just being a really big shitter. I'm just kidding. I don't actually believe that. Bum, bum. Thank you, Mr. Tomgus, for the 11 months. Welcome. You're talking to a guy that that bought mounts in World of Warcraft from the fucking sale, store. Stranger. What are you buying? What are you buying? Okay, actually, that sounds terrible. I did it as a joke. Me and my friend were having a mount off in WoW, and just like I was like, one second, let me get on. <laughs> What's like, let me get on a mount I don't think you have, and I just straight up bought it right then and there. Just for the joke! Just for the joke. That's where your donation money's going, guys. Horrible that? jokes like that. It's going to a good place. <laughs> what are you buying? Not enough cash, stranger. What are you buying? Come back anytime. Beep, ba, ba, do, beep, ba, ba, do, beep. Oh, this is perfect. Actually, no, it's perfect for the Punisher. Never mind, wait. But they all fell. Get up. There's someone behind me. Okay, not close enough. Oh, 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 oh! Punisher OP! Punisher OP! Punisher OP! No, well, the joke is actually on me. I bought, if you guys play Warcraft, I bought the Golden Ox, okay? Because I was just looking for the shittiest one. I actually should have bought one that I thought was cool, but I'm a goddamn idiot. I bought the the, the worst one. Uh-oh, it's that version. Uh...
I bought the Golden Ox, but I didn't know the Golden Ox is actually the only store, the mount on the store that you could get earlier in the game without money. And he got on it and I was like, oh. The joke was on me. And there's like 20 mounts on the store and I bought the only one, the only one that you could actually get from playing the game. It was, uh... Oh my god. Wait, listen to this beat. Listen. Listen. Alright, this is basically like a timeout. I have to use the bathroom, but listen. Until you hear that beat, I'm not playing. Okay, are you, did you guys hear it yet, or...? Yeah, this beat does go hard! Doesn't it? Yeah, that one, that one fly is stuck in midair. Where'd it go? Or, sorry, it's, um, it's what's his wiener. That guy. Big cheese! The big cheese! <laughs> I don't know, death brings hopes. People love the fog, I guess. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, he's not gonna do anything, is he? Except dodge like a pro. This room doesn't work so well in the rando. Where's it's fucking JJ, dude? How's your health? You good? Holy shit! Uh, 
Ugh. Oh, we're going to have to snipe with the freaking shotgun. But thankfully, this shotgun fully upgraded can snipe. Sort of. Hell yeah, dude. When am I going to get the TMP? Batora, Last Haven, now. I am playing two non-horror games this year for October. Please don't hurt me. You're both sponsors, so that means your streamer is doing good. So, yeah. Thank you, Stephen Hook, for the four months. Thank you. I'm great, Garmin. How you doing? Hey, sir. Got him! 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 Get got, dude. Get got. Get get got. Get 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 got. Um. Uh, mm, good night, Moon. So now, do I have any interest to go for world record in any game anymore? I will translate that question. Do I have any interest in playing the same game every single day, all day, for three months straight anymore? No. Unless it's a new game. New games, definitely. Old games like RE2 Remake where the world record is like, requires thousands of hours of grinding, absolutely not. Um, or like RE2 Original. Like, there are some games that I can probably contest world record or, or at least like try without putting my entire life into it, like RE3 Original or Silent Hill 3. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't really have an interest. Eh, Dead Space is really- Dead Space is a super glitchy run. Like, if Dead Space was like a 45 minute run like RE3 and didn't have many glitches, I would definitely run that game. But Dead Space is just mostly glitches, and I think you play it on beginner mode. And I know people like, just play the other difficulties, but... I, know, I like running the main category, usually. Why does it require- The reason getting a record for- here- here's how it works, here's how it works. How many hours does the record holder have? That's the question. Like, let's take RE4 for example. The record holder has upwards of 10,000 hours played. How much do I have? 288. But here's what I, here's the, here's the, um, the benefit I have on him. I know all the strats now. I get to watch the record and I get to see exactly what they do. And it looks easy, looks easy. So, with that being said, you could probably shave like 2,000, 3,000 hours off your time just because everything's there laid out for you. But it's still going to take thousands of hours to catch up to that person. And how I know this is like, RE4 is a really good example. There are two insanely good speedrunners, Orchelon and 7 Ray D, and they recently started running RE4, all right? So after like hundreds of hours of running the game for both of them, they reached this wall. Like they were PB and back to back to back to back. And this is what happened to me too, by the way. And it also happened to Dist as well. Um, but he, he, he stopped for other reasons. But in these old games, it, it's very rare that a really popular streamer will go back to something like this and grind it out for record. So a lot of people just don't know this, don't, don't know this about speedrunning. They both hit a brick wall. And when you hit that brick wall, Let's say the brick wall in RE4 is like 10 minutes away from record, which it sorta of is. Getting that 10 minutes shaved off is gonna take times 10 the amount of time it took you to get there. 
here's an example, and then we'll move on. Um, RE3, I got my first uh, sub 42 after 3,000 resets. I still don't have a sub 41. I don't even even have a sub 4130. All right, and I got the first sub 41 or first sub 42. Sorry, at 3,000 resets, like I said, I'm up to over 10,000 resets, and I haven't improved that 60 seconds. Because you will hit this, you will hit RE2 remake. Same thing. It's like you'll hit this if you get a minute away from record. Shaving off that minute. Shaving off just that 60 seconds will take you like double your playtime, triple your playtime. When you get, when you turn a game super optimal, and it's sort of that reason why I, I don't know. I, I still love speedrunning, don't get me wrong guys, and I speedrun when I have fun with it. But I honestly just don't have fun with the older games anymore. Like RE3 when I recently ran that, I was having a lot of fun actually. And I, I can still have fun with speedrunning. That's not the case. It's that these older games, like, it, it comes with the territory. Fuck. It's this dude. When I run a game now with a bigger audience, I'm just letting you guys, I'm just shooting the shit. Do not feel bad or any like empathy or remorse or anything for this conversation because there's none needed. If you're thinking that, you're just misreading the conversation. But when I speed run a game now, like let's say I learned RE5, all right? And record for RE5 realistically is hundreds of hours away, so months away, all right? But every single day, the most common comment will be what's world record, when's world record, is this world record pace, are you attempting world record? I could have a tattoo on my forehead, in the title, and a command that spams every 10 seconds after every comment, and you would still get those questions and still have to either answer them as a streamer or get your audience to answer them, and still you'd get it all the time. And that very fact makes running older games almost fucking unbearable now at, with this size of a stream. Unfortunately. And it's not the reason I don't speedrun, by the way. But it is a factor to why speedrunning isn't fun anymore for the older games. And with RE3, I don't mind that question. Is this record pace? Most likely not. Am I attempting world record? Sure, it's possible. So that question's an easy answer. But you know me, Rantaholic. It pains me to know, to think that someone thinks that with 10 hours in a game, you can get someone's record that has 10,000, which is what people, the average person thinks, which is impossible. I believe in the God Gamer and all that stuff, like Faker and freaking League of Legends and, and whoever in World of Warcraft and stuff. The God Gamers exist, but even for a God Gamer. Like, that's Distortion's middle name. He's ran this game, and he'll tell you himself, fuck record, dude. It's, it's thousands of hours of grinding, actually. Like, I always get made fun of by my audience who don't know any better. The real OGs know what it's like, but I always get made fun of by new people that join the stream like, Oh man, what are your hours in RE? In the franchise, my hours in Resident Evil franchise all combined into one is less time than the record holder has in this game. Just this game. So RE3, 1, 2, 3 remake, 2 remake, 1 remake, 0, 4, 5, 6, 7, Village, Survivor, Dead Aim, Outbreak File 1 and 2, you combine all those hours and it's still not equal to the amount of hours the record holder has in this game. So when people ask, when's world record? Very far fucking away is where it is. But I'm just trying to pass the knowledge and I hope you guys pass that knowledge on. I love when people have that information. So when you watch a new runner, like someone learn, like a smaller streamer or whatever, learning a new game, you don't think to yourself to ask them in chat like, you on record pace? No, they're not on record. Like, that's very far away for a game like this. Don't even bother. Like, it's not in the cards. Like, if it's month one, month two, for this game in particular, absolutely not. But that's why a new game is awesome. You still get that same question, but record is always possible. And it's awesome. And, and people are hype about everything. 
and it's sick. I love running new games because you never know what's going to happen and the strats change all the time and everyone's all hyped about it and you get to see so much passion from people in the chat and the streamer as well for the video game and, and every day people trickle in that say I just beat it yesterday, it's god tier, I can't wait to watch the run. It's awesome. When you run a classic game, it sort of is beating a dead horse sometimes. Sorry, I mean, it's a big top. When people ask questions like that, it's a big thing for me to answer. I, I speed ran for like, I still speed run, but I, it was my life for like five years straight. So, you know, it takes me a while to answer these questions because I need to get all my thoughts out there. I don't like just throwing the question. Oh, you going to speed run anymore? No. <laughs> and then move on. I'd rather give you a detailed explanation of like my mentality towards speed running nowadays. And it's every streamer's dream, and you guys have helped me achieve this, to get to play whatever you really want. Now, to a degree. And I have reached that point, and I couldn't ask for anything more. Speedrunning is something I started to do because no one wanted to watch me play League of Legends. Oh! He should die after two. There he goes, he's dead. You'll see. You have to kill this guy because he blocks you your way. So is that a... <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance. But yeah, don't get me wrong guys, I love speedrunning. I love anything competitive. But when it comes to like grinding an online game on an online leaderboard, I'd rather do that than speedrun. I still love speedrunning. It's just I have a passion. My passion is in different spots right now. I'd much rather run a new game. Uh... The inventory's a mess, dude. But I'll probably go back. You know, I might. Yeah, yeah, Limburger. I might go back to uh, running RE3 again. I was running RE3 before my the hurricane. There's a hurricane that struck my island a few weeks ago, and it took out my power for a week straight. And before that, I was running RE3, and I wasn't bored of it. It's just when I came back, it was October 1st. I had to start by October. Um. So yeah, I mean, I would, I would like to, um, I would like to go back to RE3 eventually, maybe sometime in November or December. Uh, but yeah, so I will definitely run RE3 again. Thank you, King Catastrophe, for the gifted sub to Slash Lee TV. Thank you, and thank you, Aramie, for the thirty-nine, and thank you, B Heavens, for the three. <clears throat> but there's, there's a lot of things I'd like to run. It's only if there's nothing else I want to do, because running something is a life sentence, and I don't like casually. If I'm going to play a competitive game, I don't like doing it casually. I like putting my entire fucking life into it. I get no joy out of casual gaming unless it's actual casual game. Like this, you know, randomizing and stuff. Ugh. Whoa! Hey! Who throws a bucket? You coming or with all, oh, with all that being said, for those who didn't understand fully, I can't fucking wait to speed on RE4. It's gonna be sick. I mean obviously I can't wait to play it first. But man. That's gonna be such a fun speed game. Unless there's some crazy glitches or something. And am I gonna run RE4? That question I'm gonna get every day for the next few months, definitely. And I'm probably gonna run the hardest category because that's what I enjoy doing. So whatever the hardest difficulty is, or whatever the hardest thing beyond that difficulty is. So if it's like perf nightmare professional new game, any percent or all bosses or whatever, that's what I'm gonna run. Ditman glitch? No, there's no way Ditman glitch will exist in a remake. Like they would have to make this. I don't even know how that exists in the first place, but there's no way. Yeah, even if the diffi even if Max difficulty is getting one shot by every move, I'm running that. Man, I'm sure you can 
I'm sure many people can agree, but the best times for speedrunning the RE franchise was, ironically, it was RE3 Remake. I love how he says nothing here. You can try to open the door, he still says nothing. Things like this are gonna be improved in the remake. Cause this is, you talk, you wanna talk about unrealistic? Screw Leon jumping down a 50 foot building and holding back a chainsaw guy with just a knife. What the hell is this? <laughs> like, he gets here and he's just like, no words, baby. No words at all. Like, for real though, hey, let's be super critical. That's so uncharacteristic of Leon. Like, well, besides that time where Ash is like, you okay, Leon? He says nothing. Maybe he's just trying to show how cool he is. Thank you, Wack, for the tier two and the 32. But yeah, nothing was what well, nothing was more sick than watching a speedrunner on record pace or really good pace and getting to final Inferno Nemi and pulling off all those fucking like frame perfect dodges and then doing the fast strat like that was intense shit, man. It still is for people who run the game, obviously. Oh God. Yeah, for those who never watched an Inferno Resident Evil 3 Nemi speedrun, um, the final boss is like one one shots you like every time every hits a, a one hit ko unless you get insanely lucky like one percent chance and um it's like great it's fucking it's like millennia difficulty from elden ring Yeah, and you could also just get hit by the r random acid that spews at a nemesis while you shoot him, and it could stun you for long enough that you die from it. Which was complete RNG. Thank you, Fatal Wasabi, for the sub. Thank you. Yeah, Jolly Green Greg. When I got my first run... When I got my first run in RE3 Inferno and didn't die... I was tearing up because you got it's 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 hard not to when the entire chat is fucking going insane and you did something so stressful you're gonna have a heart attack. It was intense. I don't even know if that damages you. I don't know why I run away every time. This was the hardest room in Rising of Evil. Two Verdugos and an Iron Maiden and a Regenerator all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, salad. A hard run. I hope it's unskippable as well. I love that it's unskippable in this game. I need to make it to the door first. I can't. Oh, that sucks. I need to make it to the door first. There we go. Oh shit! The bombs! Alright, I'm gonna walk into one on purpose. Never mind. Ten car pile up.
You guys like how the um oh god, what's the big guy named? What's what's the what's the huge ogre? The ogre. Do you guys like how fucking built the ogre is in remake? He's he's like he's his chest is massive. El gigante. Yeah, his chest is fucking huge. Like he's way bigger in remake. You okay? They have a cave troll, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wasabi, and thank you, App. Back. Ooh, a message from the merchant. Not gonna read it, but. Wait. Where's the chickens? There he is! Hey, buddy! He's just pecking around. No one bother him. The gameplay. Uh... Clev. Alright, coming through! Oh, sorry, buddy! This gave me a little scare. Sorry. Like this is Thank it. you, Priest, oh, for the 15 months. It stinks. Sure does. No way, Leon. Way. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? I knew you'd be fine if you landed on your butt. Oh! You. What is this? Come on, let's go. Uh-oh. You're right, what is that thing? That's a scary man right there. <laughs> and the unupgraded freaking rifle is so weird. Viva, viva la poopa. I'm pretty good at fighting them now. Who would have thought? Wait. Uh oh, I'm gonna eat those words. They're not hard to fight though. Hit them in the head with the rifle or the Follow. magnum or the machine gun. They're in there, sleepwalk. They're, it's... Boy. Oh. Oh shit, I should have left her behind. This room's tough. Look, there's a gate here. Tough tough unless you have the the punisher. Huh. 
Punisher OP. Viva la poopa! Viva la poopa! This is honestly... This playthrough of the rando has been so much fun. Because I... I know what to do! I know what to do now! Do! Even though he doesn't get stunned by the pistol in the base game, he does in Rising of Evil. Oh, let's check out the merchant. Yeah, the Punisher. People are sleeping on the... Guy, what's everyone... What pistol's everyone gonna go in, in the remake? Red 9, probably. Welcome. Got a selection of... What are you buying? 9 millimeter. Oh, yeah. Blacktail. Come back any time. Unless there's new handguns, I'll, I'll, I might go the Punisher. I, I love the Punisher. I love the piercing rounds. They're cool. Uh, it shoots through enemies. Oh, if the Matilda's in the base game? Maybe I'll go that too. Yeah, the bolt thrower looks cool. Leave it to me, Leon. Leave it to me, Leon. Did we leave it to Leon, boys and girls? Leave it to me, Leon. 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 Uh oh, what are they carrying? They're lighters for the party? I have no more pistol ammo. It won't blow up. Bullshit. There we are. I hope it's not all dynamite guys, okay. Oh shit, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, how'd you get here? <laughs> the the scythe. Thank you, Sinny, for the race up. I wonder how the checkpoint system will be as well, because if you guys don't know, the checkpoint system in this game is crazy. It's literally, literally, every door, every single door that has a load to it, and multiple times per room, depending on how big the room is. Like, this is a checkpoint for this room. Thank you, Murph, for the 23. Thank you. Oh no. Ugh. 
Whoa, nice bucket, dude. Hey, leave Ashley alone down there. Are they dead? I think so. Whoa, the magnum ammo. Thank you, Celestia, for the raid. How was your stream? Oh my god. They're, they're too... They're too fast. Like... Alright, let's just sprint through. Maybe we'll make it. Punisher. Buff. Coming. Coming. Coming! Checkpoint? It would have been checkpoint if I pressed E there. Oh my god, dude. I'm leaving it to you. Oh nice. Awesome here, Celestia. Ow! Oh, it was you! Yeah, I know about the crowd control. I haven't d tried it yet, though. I will, eventually. Who the hell was that? Is it you? Oops. I think there's someone at Ashley, but... Okay. Who is that? Who the hell? Dude! Oh no! Don't do it! I hear more people! Okay. What the hell are you doing? I wish I get the magnum ammo that drops up here. Alrighty. Yeah. Leon, don't. Leon, stop. Leon! Leon, don't do it. Oh yeah, I'll just make it look like a hostage situation so the guys won't attack me. Genius. What the? Yeah, that's big brain, look. Drive. I'm trying. What the fuck, dude?
shot. Eh, the shotgun should do the trick. Easy clappings. Ah, uh, thank you, Chromawa, for the nine months. Thank you. Yep, it's the HD mod that helps use the mouse and keyboard. Well, hi, merchant. How are you? Welcome. Oh yeah, the mouse was implemented terribly for this game. Gotta select. What are you buying? What are you buying? <laughs> not, not, not enough cash strength. What are you selling? Oh wait. Come. Back any time. It's already for tweaks. Oh, oh, oh what okay. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> yeah, the final part of this game is pretty poopy. Pretty poopy. I hope they vastly change a lot of the island. Muere, 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 muere. What's the news on our friend, Leon? He's not making it easy. The sample? Sadler's got it. It seems he sniffed out our little game. Perfect. Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Get him, Krauser. Yeah, it'd be nice to see more Leon and Krauser stuff. Or anything. I hear chickens! I hear chickens. Oh, it's before fatal. It's before. Hi, little chickens. Hey, guys. Those are my friends. Hey, fellas. Don't mind me coming through. Whoa, that's sick jump. Nice. You see that jump by that one chicken? It's fucking sick. Definitely just trying to work the crowd. We'll be out of your feathers in a bit. <laughs> oh, here it comes. That's part. Good old knife fight. Krauser. I died in the crash two years ago. Is that what they told you? You're the one who kidnapped Ashley. You got John Quick, as expected. After all, you and I both know where we come from. <laughs> Will this be QTE and remake, guys? You Place want? your bets. 
I think if there's QTEs, this'll this'll still make it. Or let's say there's no QTEs, I think this'll still have some. Leave Ashley out of this. Oh, I needed her to buy Sadler's trust in me. Like you, I'm American. Oh You got her involved just for that? Oh! Look at this good old fashioned knife fight. <laughs> All for Umbrella's sake. Almost let it slip. Let it slip. Almost let it slip. Enough talk. Die, comrade. He did let it slip. Though. Ada. Well, if it isn't the bitch in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> You may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here. Maybe some other time. Mm-hmm. Alright, best call coming up. Enjoy the reunion with your old friend. As a matter of fact, I did. Wonderful. I wouldn't want my special guests on the island feeling unattended. Guess I'm supposed oh, to thank yeah. you, right? Ah, I have an idea. Since you're here, why don't I introduce you to it? It should keep you busy. Can't remember the name, huh? A senior moment, perhaps. Oh! <laughs> Enjoy the fun. Hell yeah, dude. Straight up got him. Wait, wait. I need a grenade in my hand to do this. No, 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 no. The knife down. You touch one hair only once, head and two will shoot you down like a large American bear. Thank you, Maximilian, for the quote from RE4 remake. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I gotta change that lady's voice. I'm sorry. I don't know why, but that and only that menu is so much faster than all the other ones. I think there's no text on the emerald or something. Welcome. Welcome. I want to get the merchant's voice to read the comments. What, are you what if I got an AI that sounds like the merchant's voice? Not enough cash. <laughs> Thank you. What are you selling? I wonder if that's possible. If there's anyone that can make that happen in the chat, then come back anytime. And that I could use for stream elements, I will pay you. Is there not Frankles? He has a, he has quite a few lines. Ouch. 
Thank you, Murph. Not enough cash streamer. Oh, that's perfect already. I forget what the fuck I'm doing. Where is it? Oh my god. This part? Please, Capcom, just cut this shit. Please. You can keep you three, but not this bullshit here. I actually hate this segment. It's... I hate it. Is this any- yeah, is this anyone's favorite part? No meme. No meme- you can't meme. Oh. oh no, I forgot to buy a fucking rocket launcher for this piece of shit. Imagine legitimately fighting this boss. Fuck, I don't know where that is. Oh, it doesn't matter. Here's the best part about this part. wonder he lived that. He has a billion health. Guys, I'm gonna die here. Oh wait, I wonder what these do to him. Let's see. Probably nothing. What? Well, that was a good use of these. I'll take the... Don't cut me in half, please. I'm just a small Leon, okay? We gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go! Not hit not now, not now. No, stop that. He's what the fuck is he doing, dude? Ah, there we are. He's going back under already. Yeesh. Oh, oh now he comes up. Buddy, please. Come on.
I know, this boss has way too much health. And knowing the current the current formula in the RE games is giving everything way more health. So in the remake, he's probably gonna have like double. Look at fucking Moreau and every boss from Village, actually. And in 3 Remake, the boss is a lot of help, too. Woo! Village of Shadows Moreau fight, yeah. Woo! We got him! We got him! And I have a bunch of shotgun ammo to left. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to add that, the shooting gallery. That's true. Oh no. Oh boy. Here he comes. What have you done with the merchant? What have you done with the merchant? Go put up at that. No fart noises in this game, damn it. I wouldn't mind this part changing a lot, too. I'm not the biggest fan of this. Like, there's a lot of parts of the island I think are just, like, okay. And this is definitely one of them. I like this a lot more now that I speedrun the game. It's not that big a deal. But, man, when I used to casually play this game, I was always dreading this section. Somehow he hits you less than the crossbow men in the fucking other part of the game. Run, Leon, run! Good, Leon. Good, Leon. Good. Good, Leon? Get in here, Krauser. Oh, the flashbang. Good, Leon. Here he comes. Getting a bit soft, are we, Leon? God, I can't wait for him to say that with a different meaning in the remake. And at a completely different section, too. Nice. That was perfect. When he says getting a bit soft, are we, Leon? In the remake, fellas, don't let your children be in the room. 
Because they are not going to want to see that. It's going to be raided. Don't just stand there. Come out and fight like a man. I'm not falling for that one. Just trying to have fun. That conversation is going to be between them in a bedroom, both buck naked. Trouser. Trouser. <laughs> Thank you, Bucket, for the 5 4. Holy moly, sir. Thank you. Big 5 4. Easy. This inventory. Where'd you come from? What is it that you fight for, come? Oh yeah, buddy. My past, I suppose. Ah, yo, Count Norris. <laughs> Umbrella. Umbrella. Oh shit! <laughs> Thank you, Magnus, for the prime. Of course I have Flyers fan. Of course. Two down. One more to go, Krauser. Wait, is he invisible? We'll see about that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, hell yeah! Witness the power! You've lost it completely, Krauser. Prepare for your death, Leon. Sorry, Krauser, but you suck. Yeah, he takes extra damage from the knife. And if you hit him in the head and then hit him... It's, it's a lot easier than it looks, honestly, but it's still not too bad. Because if you don't hit him exactly when you need to, you can't attack when there's a QTE on the screen. So as soon as that QTE appears, if you're not attacking like during that, then you can't do anything. He just hits you. Yada yada yada. All right, worst fucking part in the game. I I I hope they cut this completely out. I hope this part is just gone. Like just it non-existent. Just uh, don't even like replace it with anything. Just just fucking scrap it. It's so bad. So bad. This part is awful. Yeah, it isn't even fun. It's like it's it's miserable. I hate it. Nothing's more fun than getting shot at by multiple miniguns in an RE game. That's the best thing I like about my Resident Evil. 
Many guns in. Oh, fucking rocket launchers and shit! Uh oh, here comes another one. Dude! Don't you dare! Don't you fucking dare! Wait. What? Rawr. Oh, he's got a rocket launcher. Uh oh. Punisher time! I think they could keep Navistadors, but they definitely have to change the AI. The AI is just really annoying. Uh, the Navistador is the, the bug guys, the huge bugs that are in the sewer and other parts of the game. Hello. Yeah, this is like RE- I- Dude, if people defend this section and hate RE5 or 6, now nah, more so 5, I don't know what crack you're on. I did not think that would do damage to me. But whatever crack it is, I don't want any. This is what- this- this section is what led to RE5. How the hell did you get behind me? <sighs> oh. Uh. Hi, hello, people. He has powerful elbows. God, didn't crash there. <laughs> Take cover. Guys, look who it is. Thanks. When we get out of here, drinks are on me. 
Leon, you okay? Yeah. You know a good bar. Look, guys, it's at least one of the new Silent Hills right here. Sneak peek. You could have tried to save him, Leon, you sick freak. Jesus Christ. Wait. Did we save it already? I don't know if we did. Because this room's crashed before. Thank you, Zion. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hype in the chat, guys. After this is a sponsored game. Who's pumped? Anyone? Anybody? Pumped. Golly Green is. Uh oh, who is it? Rocket Boys? Unarmed guys? Really? Oh shit. He's got a rocket launcher! Oh shit. Wait, that wasn't the guy. Oh, shit. Oh, go, Punisher, go. Punish this, asshole. Punish this. Oh. Punisher! Now it's a it's an indie dungeon crawler, I think. Uh, 
It actually has a weird command name. I'll have to look it up again. Merchant, merchant. Welcome. Got a selection of good things. What are you buying? Free ammo time. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Wait, eighty-nine thousand. Go back. Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What are you Wait a sec. Don't you have a rocket launcher? He does. Wait. What are you Go saying? back. He does. He does. Oh. Um, <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? That was my impersonation of the Silent Hill uh, Is that alarm sound. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, buddy. No problem. <laughs> God, I hope the merchant has a bigger role in the remake. <laughs> Imagine he escapes anytime. with us. Ah, oh, my dream come true. Fellas, <laughs> it crashed. It's never crashed on that door. Over time with the merchant. Oh my god, that sounds good. Who? Anyone else? Like, holy sh. Over time with the merchant. Great! Are we actually back? I thought we just saved it after we saved Ashley. Am I crazy? Dude, mercenary- Dude, I was saying this the other day. Mercenaries with the merchant better happen. That should be the ultimate unlock. Like, you do everything in the game. You get all achievements and you unlock the merchant for Mercer's. He has a full inventory of every single weapon in the entire game. Like, that should be a thing. That should be the ultimate unlock. Or you can play through the whole game as the merchant. That'd, even, that'd be even sicker. Wait, hello? Jesus. No, 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 no. Oof. Yeah, we were taking a look at it earlier, Dark. Looks pretty cool. Holy shit, boys. What the hell was... Well, as I was at a cutscene. Die now. Oh! Uh oh! You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Oh my word! God damn, dude. Yeah, yeah, frame trap. Yeah, really, though. Whatever. Oops, I meant to pick that up. Move. Oh my god. Okay. 
れてテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテテ Stranger, what are you buying? What are you selling? Wait, what is the button? <laughs> what are you buying? I forget the button to actually save it. Um, <laughs> come back anytime. anytime. What are you buying? What are you buying? What are you, what are you, what are you buying? Hmm. Wait. No, I don't know what it is. Control F3, I thought. Control F1? Oh, no. No, I don't know how to do it. Please, please don't crash. Woo. Voy a matar. Oh, come on. This hunk of junk? I, I don't know about this, Leon. There's only one way to find out. You operate. Yeah. Tell him, Leon. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. All right. Here goes nothing. You operate. How are you feeling? Like a million bucks. I thought you were gonna die. All right, guess I'm up. Die is to prepare a side. You okay? I don't know about you, but I think it's time we go home. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Merchant, don't worry, you're escaping with us in the remake. to get back up. Oh, my, my, my magnum does too much damage. Oh. Um. Wait a second. Excuse me? Excuse me? Coming! No! Damn, you gotta see one pair of 
boobies from a game from 20 years ago and it's like a change of your life. Got him. Easy got him. Thank you, Rooster Space the 26. Ah! Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, mm. you do know what this is. No break music, that's true. Mm. You really pushed it. I am not excited for Ada's new voice actor or actress. Very cute. I like a lot of the time when she's talking, all I can think of is her new voice saying these same lines and it's going to be, um, it's not going to be pleasant. Thank you, Simply Carly, for the two months. Leon, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm not one to jump to conclusions, like, fully. Yeah, it could be good. But boy, the odds are not in its favor. But hey, if, you're, if you are saying that exact thing in chat, if you are saying, like, oh, it was one line, it was one thing, you better not have talked shit about Chris Pratt as Mario. Down, down, down. Hang on, sweetheart. That was also one line. Just saying. Sorry, when I see when I put it like that, then you guys are less critical of me being so critical of uh, uh, Ada. Am I right? He's just so cool. See ya. All right, and in the remake, Ashley! the propeller, the propeller from the desk, just pretend it has one, Ashley! kills Ashley. Why As he's looking for her turn around, the propeller blade cuts her head off. And the merchant swan dives in and says, I'll go with you. Something along those lines. Uh, come on. Let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Fuck! Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave, Let's it, at leave it at that. Thank you, Rem, for the Prime Gaming. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. 
No, the endings. Uh, I like the ending on the like jet ski, but I, I don't like these credits. I don't like the music they picked. I do think it's cool that they showed the families before the virus and stuff, but I don't know. This is this is probably my least favorite credits in the whole franchise. I'm in the minority. I get it. I just think the music, like, I don't know. This is not the time to show this stuff, in my opinion. Like, you just had this badass escape sequence with this crazy music and then riding off into a, on a jet ski and then it hits you with the sad song and the concept art. I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan. Uh oh. Now look. Now they introduce the Plaga. Uh oh, music changing. Sorry, the reason I say all this is because I compare it to literally every other Resident Evil game ever. Every other Resident Evil game, for the most part, that's a cool scene. Every other RE game, for the most part, is like. Sick music. Hey, look, it's the guy from RE2 or RE4 Remake coming down the stairs. I never noticed that, but that's what it is basically him. Uh, Alright, give me one sec. Right back, fellas. Hunnigan, is that you? Finally, the line's jack free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know, you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty. <laughs> Five hours. Well, now. 